spots. I love the multicolored barrel. And the great thing is, at Jewelry Maker, I say it every time that I'm here, you can work with beautiful, genuine gemstones. There is a certain perceived value associated with beautiful, gems, genuine gemstones. Um, so when you, if you are creating pieces to sell or even to give as gifts, you know, um, people will think that that is quite extravagant to be able to offer somebody, a, you know, a genuine barrel, beautifully polished. And I love the size as well. These are just yes. so yeah, pretty. so delicate, aren't they? Love the Gorgeous. Right, let's. Um, oh, hello. These are. These are so me. I want to do these with the vintage as well. Have a look at these. Gorgeous. Um, beautiful glossy luster that you have got on your black agate. They are absolutely stunning. It is agate, yes. So you've got um, every single one of these has been faceted and you've got the way that, are these brand new? Brand new, brand, first people to see these today, fantastic. Um, 38 centimeters, um, over 140 carats that you've got here, a beautiful black agate. I love the way that the light just dances off the surface. It gives you that beautiful piano key luster. Um, you know, it's a great gemstone that you could use, you know, really with absolutely anything. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's nice to have that contrast with the black sometimes, yeah, isn't it's, it? It's one of your stash staples, isn't it? Your, your black gem stones and with such gloss that they have and the sparkle from a faceting it's beautiful it is absolutely stunning and i'm just going to put them again i love this color combination so i'm just going to aren't they lovely with oh, the oh that's beautiful isn't that isn't pretty it? quite vintage isn't it, it together is. with black yeah very vintage again it'd be great with the great gatsby yes, kit coming up absolutely beautiful beautiful um Love these, brand new today, and they're a nice size as well. I mean, I, if you're new, um, when you get started here at Jewelry Maker, you get a, a kit, don't you, yes. to get started? Yes. And inside of that kit is some jeweler's elastic, yes. right? Have we got the kit down there? I'll have a nosy. Yeah. So, you get the welcome pack, and I've just put this over my wrist right now because um, once you spend, how much? $4.95, boom, you could buy just this strand. You're going to get this entire, entire welcome pack, including some Julie's elastic. This would make a lovely stretchy, Amazing wouldn't stretcher. it? Could go stretcher, with absolutely yeah. everything. So, inside the kit, you've got all kinds of goodies. You've got um, three sets of pliers. You have got your jeweler's elastic. You've got a, um, a set of uh, findings. Um, there's, um, oh, there's all kinds of goodies in here, isn't there? Um, yeah, <laughs> they're not recipe cards. <laughs> Jewelry recipe cards. Oh, I like that. You like that. There you go. I have no idea what's going on. Uh, but £4.95, you're getting that entire kit. It's well worth it to get started. So it's, it's an amazing, just for spending £4.95 and you get all that free. I know. You can just straight away get started. Fantastic, fantastic. Right. Oh, is it? It's time. It's time for the Vintage Rose Shell Pearl, and it's coming up for you right now as a star bite. I've never seen that before. I've never seen that star buys thing before. There we go. <laughs> um, right, uh, let's move on to the jewelry. Um, so um, here they are, they are lovely. And what I love about this color is, um, if you're like me and you're not really a big lover of, of you know, bright pink, you know, really kind of girly pink, yeah. There's something very subtle and elegant and, you know, in the name, the vintage rose colour that you've got here. It really is so um, muted and soft, but yet at the same time, uh, you know, you could pair this with so many different other colours. Yeah, it's, it's, you, it's kind of your nude pink, pink isn't it? Yes. It goes with all your natural tones, so it's, soft, it's really soft, isn't it? It is. It's really pretty. And with what wedding season coming up as well now, if you're wait, waking, if you're waking, if you're making wedding jewellery, a lot of people kind of are moving away from the traditional white and 
looking to like more kind of subtle kind of pinks and uh, yeah, and pinks and champagnes and, and that just works perfectly absolutely absolutely now I promise these under five pounds but guess what they're going way under five way under five uh, what I love with the shell pearl as well is that each one of these is perfectly uniformed there's no pits there's no spots i mean look how up close and personal we are now and the luster that you've got on the on the surface is you know sheer metallic i mean it really is incredibly lustrous these are selling like hotcakes uh well done jeanette and hillary uh well done to heather and mary hello to susan uh, emma and joy lovely to see you uh well done to uh philippa um yeah busy 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 Busy, busy, busy. <laughs> I would be multi-buying on these. Absolutely. I mean, and the price that these are going to as well, I would love these on a, on a long strand, like almost like a, a that you could wrap around, like yeah, an opera the, length. They work so well with seed beads as well. Your, your, four, your four mil works perfectly with your seed beads. <gasps> There you go. It works perfect with the seed beads as well. I love these. I'm looking. I'm just eyeing up the kit and just thinking. Just this to me just screams Great Gatsby. I think this colour would be really lovely with um, uh, like your Prasia lights as well. Like your really yes. subtle, beautiful kind of sea foam greens and stuff like that as well. Give it a real vintage feel too. Ooh, lovely. A little bit black lace. Ooh. Yeah. Not as in agadu, as in <laughs> like actual. As in actual black lace. In fact, I'm going to put some like this on my... I've got a bit of glass. This is the weirdest shot I've ever done in my life. But look at that. I mean, how gorgeous is that? Yeah, that works, doesn't it? That works, doesn't it? And for £2.95, I'd be multi-buying. I'd be getting multiples of these. Uh, you could create, at that price, you could create a whole suite. Yeah, you could do a multi-strand necklace. Multi-strand. Yeah. Oh, look at us. We're both. <laughs> it's all about the hands. Uh, we could, you could, though, couldn't you? Yeah. And then you could pair it up with some of the other pearls as well. I mean, you, you, you know, they, they go lovely with the champagnes, with the white pearls, um, you know, even with peacock pearls, because it's just going to... Oh, yeah, I love these. You could it with maybe a contrasting thread, maybe with black thread in between it. That would look nice with black knots in between each. Ooh, ooh. Uh, and our next star buy, we've got some amethyst ovals. Are, they, are, these, good? are these the right ones? Have I got the right ones? <gasps> See, that's beautiful as well. Yeah, that works beautifully together. <gasps> and guess what? These are also, this amethyst is also going under 10. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I love it. Absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful. Um, so that's coming up for you as the next star buy. But at £2.95, um, shall I? Oh, I, let's have a look. There's a little bit of a wait on the phone lines, but do you know what? It's free. Uh, 0800 644 uh, is the number to call. It doesn't cost you a penny. So sit tight uh, and you will be answered momentarily by our awesome um, call centre. Uh, and they are just beautiful. I love, love, love the subtlety of these. I just think, um, you know, some of the carved... Um, uh, rose quartz and things that we've had as well in those little flowers and the little yeah. petals and you could just create something so whimsical and spring-like and mm, I love it but I'm still going back to black I think these would be awesome with black <laughs> but you could create I mean like you say you could create a whole suite you could create layered necklaces um, embellishments maybe for a handbag or shoes or something at that Ooh, kind of price be on some bridal shoes would look amazing they would wouldn't they on some bridal shoes oh I like that I like that. They're gorgeous. £2.95. Uh, add it to your order. <laughs> and, and we've got 30 of these in, in shopping baskets. You know what to do, peeps. You know what to do. Check, check, ch ch check it out. Did you like that? Was that, um, what's your favourite word? Was that lit? Yeah, thanks. <laughs> Check it out. <laughs> I felt like I was on supermarket sweep then. Uh, £2.95 if you've already bought something today. Why not add them to your order? Um, and at that kind of price, even if you don't know what to do with them, I mean, we've no. given you loads of ideas, but get them in your stash yeah, at that get price. Them in your stash. It's like adding something like that and the black hair goat that we just had. They're all just stash builders and you will use them, absolutely. Even if it's just onto a memory wire bracelet, they look beautiful with memory wire. <sighs> Oh, nice. I like yeah, that. You could make yourself a full pearl cuff just using <gasps> simple memory wire. Oh, 
I like that idea. I'm, t I'm into my cuffs. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Wonderful. Perfect. Awesome. Right, uh, next up. Oh, Tanzanite. Oh, no. Are we... Oh, are you kidding me? Oh. Okay. When we talk about premier, premier, premier locations in the world for gemstones, um, you know, there are two really famous locations when it comes to sapphires in particular. Um, and one of them, of course, is Ceylon, and the other one is Burma. And of course, we, we associate Burma with the Burmese ruby, but also, uh, of course, don't forget rubies and sapphires, same family. A ruby is, you know, really just a red sapphire. Um, so, what you are getting here, Burmese, beautiful, natural Burmese sapphires. They are graduate. Oh my gosh, look at, and this particular color, that cornflower blue, which is just textbook, the most desirable color when it comes to owning sapphires. Um, you have got it in this exquisite, exquisite strand. 17 centimeters, 40 carats. I mean, we, you know, I say this every time I'm here, but we take it for granted when we see a carat weight like that. 40 carats uh, for something that is so prestigious and something that is so revered. Um, you know, how many people that do you know that can say they own 40 carats of sapphire, let alone from Burma, right? Yeah, when you say it like that, it's just, it just sounds crazy, doesn't it? It does. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, I'd have to go to Sotheby's or, you know, something to, to buy 40 carats of sapphire. And, and then we look at a strand like this and you've got, I mean, you know, they've got these wonderful, almost like watercolour, um, you know, changes in the op opacity, <laughs> that's not even a word, I just made that up, um, of, of the sapphire. So, you know, you've got some of these that have that wonderful kind of translucency to them, some of them that have got um, uh, more of an opaque feel, some of them that are a little bit uh, more of a kind of dusky, deeper colour, uh, but the predominant, what? Um, at 20, oh, and that's not even where we're closing today. We should be at £27.95 every day of the week. Um, oh, my goodness me. <laughs> Wow, that's amazing. I went out for dinner on Wednesday. Um, I, I, what did I have? Oh, I, I, had, I had a six course tasting menu with a wine pairing. That sounds so pretentious. Uh, but it was amazing. And I love food. Um, and um, it was, a, it was a, a, a gift. And so, but we went for a few cocktails before. And for two, I spent more than that on two cocktails. Easily. Easily. And you're getting sapphires. I mean, that's incredible. And, and we were talking before about selling jewellery, you know, Katie, yeah. and we were talking about the value and what you could sell, you know, pieces for. When you're advertising that you sell genuine sapphires, everybody knows the gemstone. It is the most popular gemstone in the world, um, probably the, the most famous. You know, these in a, in a pair of... You know, silver shepherd hook earrings, what kind yeah. of price point? Yeah, I mean, if I was just to use one of those, maybe with a single white pearl with one of those and sterling silver findings, probably around about £30 just, just for one, and that'd be the tiny ones. Wow. So, you know, return on investment. I mean, you could yeah. make, and they don't take a lot of time either to create something like no, that, right? No, very, very simple, quick. Exactly. Make, I mean, yeah. you could, you know... I mean, even if you, were, if you had a stall and you sold them for £15 each, I mean, people would probably doubt that they were real at, at that. But if, you can, if you've got your authenticity card and can prove they're real, but, I mean, just one pair is going to cover the cost. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, and I'm always looking for great ways to inspire people to be able to kind of make money, and I teach business back home in my home base business. Um, certainly, you know, helping people to, to sell whatever it is their product is online and predominantly through social media. So imagine that, I mean, how many pairs of earrings you could make from, from just this one yeah. strand in sil and then with some silver findings. I mean, you could, you could buy yourself a holiday with that, couldn't you, really? Absolutely. Absolutely. Get really excited about that. Um, right. It is... <gasps> These are... Oh, these are big. <laughs> Um, beautiful. Again, uh, think about uh, the barrel that we bought, just bought you and that kind of colour palette that you've got. I've got a stunning strand of multicoloured opals for you. Uh, 70 carats. <gasps> They are. It's like candy, isn't it? I mean, that is... Yeah, it reminds me of those candy necklaces you used to buy. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. I, <laughs> that's incredible. And do you know what's a real testament? When you see this pop, I am, like, 
white i mean really white right and my skin is, is so white and when you put something that's pastel colored on me it kind of gets washed out i don't wear pastels very often but the the glow that you've got from this that pop that illuminosity um th that it's incredible i mean absolutely beautiful look at that at 14.95 um, they are beautiful and you've got uh, everything from these wonderful kind of um, like these beautiful blues and like periwinkle blues and, and all the way through to the pinks and these wonderful turquoise colours. I mean, they are beautiful. Um, I think they're stunning. Absolutely. I'd be tempted to just re-strand that. Just re-strand um, yeah, it? Yeah, I just think they look beautiful together. You could separate them out and use them individually, but I think they look amazing together. They do, don't they? Aren't they amazing? And just really just really bright yeah. I, I can't believe the pop of color that for would be your holiday necklace wouldn't it <gasps> yeah i'd probably buy two strands make a bracelet necklace probably a pair of earrings that's your holiday sorted isn't it oh i like that i like that that'd be lovely be nice kind of as well if you did want to pair it up with something else maybe with some um some of the the shells that we've had yeah. um or some like abalone or something like that get yeah, like a give it that sort of a Holiday. Yeah. Yeah. We love it. Brilliant. We're going to do another star buy. We're going to do star buy on the amethyst. It's guaranteed under ten pounds. Amethyst under ten pounds. What is coming up right now? Welcome back um, to Jewelry Maker. Hello, if I've not met you before, I'm Emma. Uh, it's lovely to be uh, with you uh, this evening on this snowy day here in the UK. Or you could be watching elsewhere around the world and not have snow. If you're not in the UK, um, welcome. It's lovely to have you. Um, and I hope you're warm. Uh, we have got these, I, I love these. They're like little droplets of amethyst. They're like little droplets of amethyst. My, my partner and I are, are building a boat. We're moving onto a boat and um, we've secured the build. It's, it's starting to get built on uh, in April next year, 2019, and uh, it will be called the Travelpreneur. And, um, uh, and I am really trying to convince him to get amethyst countertop for the wow. center island in our kitchen. So That's I'm amazing. looking at these going, oh my gosh, that'd be like, I want it backlit, so yeah, lit from awesome. behind and it would be amazing. I'll show you a picture afterwards, uh, Katie, you can have a look. Um, but these are gorgeous. They're like little droplets of, just little droplets of amethyst. Yeah. They've got this wonderful, almost like a, a liquid kind of feel to them. Like yeah, they are beautiful, aren't they? Yeah, I'd make little flowers out of those in, in some white, in a nice wire book piece, pop them together like the petals of a flower. Yeah. Ooh, that'd be lovely. Little, ah, oh, that'd be little flowers. Oh, now I'm inspired thinking, well, where else can around the, the <laughs> boat? <laughs> but it's going to be like chocolate box purple, so the outside. And it's going to have teeth at the front, like those bomber planes oh, cool. right up the front. Yeah, it's going to be a bit crazy. So if you see me, if you see that boat, you'll know it's me. <laughs> but these are stunning. I mean, I love your idea of, of making flowers with these. Certainly kind of going into the spring now as well. Really, yes. really pretty. Um, what else could you do with these? Uh, you could channel set them in, into a bracelet, that would be nice. Mm -hmm. You could use them to space out maybe some bigger gemstones, that would be nice, a nice contrast. Mm. Yeah, they would look nice. Is that, is that Neon Appetite there at the end of the bar? This that here? Nice together. I'll just put that, this is my fa one of my favourite colour yeah, combinations. I like those together. Yeah. And that, that is gorgeous. Yeah. This is beautiful. That is a pop. This is like the colour of my uh, fence and my shed. <laughs> uh, this is coming up for you in about an hour's time. I mean, that is, that, that's perfect, isn't it? Um, again, just such uh, a beautiful translucency that you've got here, a real gorgeous colour. You know, sometimes amethyst can be really, you know, quite dark. Um, but what you've got here is that real glow, and you can see that in, in the light box. You've got almost kind of swirling, kind of beautiful, like, storm within each of these. Guaranteed under £10, I said earlier, but guess what? 
Stop what you're doing, come over to the TV. It's under five pounds for 50 carats of amethyst. <laughs> It's a pound of carrot. That's crazy. That's, that is crazy. I mean, that, if you just pop one into a ring, a Y work ring, and you'd, you'd even, at minimum, you'd sell that for £10, wouldn't you? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. They are, I can't believe this. Again, get them in your stash. Get them. We, we're spoiling you today. We're spoiling you today. They're beautiful. Um, there are lots of treats. Um, I think these, you know, we had the, um, we had the agate earlier as well. I'm quite into purple and black, and I think that's kind of, for something a little yeah. bit more edgy, at that isn't that love it yes. love it totally me <laughs> uh, but a five, for a five pound note I would be multi buying on these um, you know and it's another gemstone that everybody knows so if you are maybe you haven't started selling your jewelry yet but you are uh, thinking about it right now maybe you've got an idea of um, you know a holiday that you want to go on or something that you want to pay for coming up in the summer you know when you're looking at getting your return on your investment it's strands like these that you can make really simple pieces from you could then you know be able to offer these and sell these um, and, and you know get a little pot going for your holiday I mean yeah, yeah. and you could even just just use one single head pin, pop it through a wrap loop, and you've got a charm, an amethyst charm. Yeah, absolutely. Do you know what? Last time I was here, I told you for Christmas, I bought my, oh, my dad. My dad bought it. Well, I bought it, and he paid for it. It was from him. Um, and a very famous charm bracelet, not the ones that slide on, but the ones that clip on. Um, and no, um, they've got like little lobster claw clips. Do you know the ones yeah. I mean? Like you get link chain on and uh, sterling silver. And she had a reconstructed turquoise charm, and it was like thirty-seven pounds, I think it was. And it's fallen out. She found it on the floor and she's glued it back in. I'm like, that is disgusting. But with something like you could make a really simple charm. You could even add a lobster claw clasp to the charm yeah, to be able easily. to add it to those famous charm bracelets. <laughs> Brilliant. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Right. Next, let's do. I don't have anything in there. Right. Let's have. Ooh. Ah, oh, this is like. These are amazing. These are amazing. Oh my gosh. This. This is probably. These, uh, these are incredible. Actually, I'm going to show you one at a time. Let's start with the, uh, with the garnets. Let's start with the garnets. These little beautiful droplets of Mozambique garnet. Uh, when you see Mozambique garnet, I'm just going to drop it down so you can see. You have that beautiful richness of colour. You have that openness of colour. Mozambique garnets are, are more on the kind of uh, fiery red, uh, more than the kind of um, purpley red that you would get really from a, a Rajasthan or a Rhodolite. Um, these are beautiful. Um, they are all stunningly... Uh, facet drop um, almost like a briolet that you've got here the quality of the faceting is amazing but you're not just getting the garnets of course oh no 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 you are also getting the uh, peridot so let's bring this one in <gasps> now this is spring in a strand spring in a strand uh, have a look at these again they're all graduated <gasps> I love them can you see the, the faceting Almost like you would get a briolet. I mean, they're not briolet, but they've got that briolet look to them. Love these little, they're gorgeous. And then my favourite, I've got to show you these, my favourite is, of course, the blue, the blue topaz. And this is, you know, I imagine seeing this on a, on a snowy day like today. Um, have a look at these. They are stunning. I mean, that one in the centre is is sizable and the quality look at the clarity that you've got here again droplets of just delicious beautiful um, blue uh, blue topaz that you've got here that 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 one in the center on just a simple just a yeah, silver I would, chain I would, I would brill out wrap that definitely would you yeah just really simply <gasps> just some sterling silver 
gorgeous at 29.95 uh, that's not just for the strands you get in all three strands uh, the, the peridot the topaz and of course the garnet as well um, I think that is outstanding value I mean just if I saw the center um, the center blue topaz here and I saw that in just a sterling silver um, pendant on a chain in a, in a jewelry store and it was selling for I don't know 99 pounds I wouldn't even bat an eyelid no, no. like I would just go oh do you know that's that's the price because you know for this kind of quality I mean you can see how up close and personal we are right now and the clarity that you've got in every single one of these gemstones and gemstones like peridot that are renowned for having black spots and inclusions that are kind of well they, they're formed you know the same way as a diamond in the earth's mantle so they go through so much pressure and there's so much heat and uh, you know there's so many uh, things like black carbon spots and things that you can find within peridot so to get this kind of clarity across every single stone and the quality of the faceting it's just so um, I don't know I love this cut it's really kind of whimsical and fun and and glamorous and it looks really expensive yeah, doesn't it, it this cut very high end doesn't it very high end uh, at 29.99 for all three. Oh, are we done gorgeous there we go, last look at those, beautiful. Right, next up, let's bring to you, <gasps> hello, are these on the desk? Is it two? <gasps> oh my gosh. So uh, we've got rubies, we've got sapphires, we've got emeralds, we've got the big three, within one single strand um, and these are exquisite you've got uh, this amazing rainbow of colors and I love how you've got the symmetry on either side so not only have they been graduated in terms of their size but you can also see uh, they're color matched on either side as well that is beautiful <gasps> so um, these wonderful you know textbook uh, pigeon blood red that you've got from your rubies here that have that slight kind of blush undertone uh, exquisitely beautiful as I said oh my gosh through to the golds and the oranges within the sapphires uh, you've got those beautiful emeralds um, I, I think again this is a quality strand with gemstones that it doesn't matter where you're from it doesn't matter what your experience is whether you know about jewelry or you don't know about jewelry everybody has heard of a ruby a sapphire and an emerald um, this is just phenomenal yeah they're, they're great ones to get because it gives you a taste of, it, of each of them different colors of gemstone as well and, and being able to play with colors is, is fantastic yeah. so um, putting different ones together or even just leaving them color matched on that strand is absolutely perfect isn't it it is I love it and <laughs> 15 pounds <laughs> it's crazy um, it really really is it's absolutely phenomenal that we can bring you our price points at 14 pounds and 95 pence today it's insane isn't it for rubies for emeralds for sapphires um, it's not a price point we would ever associate with that and just a few of these as well you know um, the silver slider bracelet like slide, connectors yeah. we have you know just a panel of those yeah. you go to s some really high-end you know department stores and you can see that exact design um, you know a lot of times just you know not using something like emeralds rubies and sapphires but it's bang on trend right now and this would lend it yeah. so well to that very a la mode um, perfect uh, is it star by time it's all the pearls oh my gosh have you seen all this all of the I'm gonna do you know what this is about they are heavy aren't they this is about to make it holy guacamole check these out all the pearls uh, I don't even know I'm going to show these like this um, coming up for you talk about a stash builder this is insane and it's coming up as a star buy right now Wow, uh, pearls for, for for every occasion, pearls, pearls, pearls. This is the Duchess, um, and my goodness me, I couldn't think of a more appropriate name. This is 
Pearl-tastic. Um, this is incredible. So you've got 20 meters of beautiful pearls and you've got every, I mean, <laughs> This is crazy. Every size, um, you've got every color um, from these wonderful peacocks that you've got here. Um, some of the larger potato pearls through to, I love this size. I don't think I've seen this size in, in the peacock pearls before. That is, they, these are beautiful. And you can see, you know, you've got the greens, you've got the purples, you've got the blues coming through. I mean, that, that, these are exquisite. I love that size. Um, you then, of course, um, going through from the peacocks into your traditional whites and champagnes that you've got here. Again, from the larger potato pearls down to the, the smaller strands. Uh, you've got the mix of wonderful vintage colors. I mean, with that strand that we had earlier with the, the vintage Rose, I mean, that is beautiful. Um, all of the vintage colors coming through. Uh, through here, you've got apricots, you've got dusky rose colors, you've got wonderful, um, stunning, beautiful champagnes, you've got those ballet slipper pinks. Um, just the subtlety of the color blend within these strands is just gorgeous. You've got those in the larger, and then you've also got them as well uh, in, in the smaller size. Um, and then you've got the, this rose color, and it's amazing looking at the iridescence that you've got you know when you look at pearls how excited I am when you look at pearls you don't look at at the surface of a pearl you look into a pearl you've got all of these layers and layers and layers and layers and layers of, of, of nacre nacre around the the um, uh, the, the nucleus in the center of the pearl and they wrap round and each of those colors when the light shines in just like you see a rainbow uh, you know when it refracts you're going to see the various different colors bouncing some of these have got silvers and turquoises coming through they are absolutely exquisite um, I love these like little, um, you know, the smaller size as well. These are beautiful. Um, and I know that, Katie, you mentioned working with seed beads um, yeah. before. Yes. You could absolutely, couldn't absolutely. you? Absolutely, you could, you could uh, use those in your seed bead. Right? <gasps> I mean, this is just like, it's, it's, I would say this auction is perfect. <laughs> this is where they get a big hook and they're like, get off, Emma. Um, <laughs> but... Amazing. Um, I can't believe that you can actually get 20 meters of pearls and this is this is crazy. Absolutely crazy. So you're you wow. <laughs> okay. I was expecting that to be almost double that price. I was gonna say four nine nine. Um now, you know, I'm not gonna stand here and go, oh gosh, two hundred and ninety-nine and ninety-five. Uh, pence. It is a considered purchase. It's absolutely a considered purchase. But when you consider um, how much that you could make, I'm just going to pick up one of these strands. That's just one and you have got just, I can't even count them all, tons of them. Tons of them. I mean, yeah, this is amazing. Absolutely, absolutely amazing. I mean, it's just beautiful. Um, Wow, if you're somebody that is really into creating bridal jewellery, I yes. mean, this is like stash-tastic. Yes, absolutely. You could, you've got the opportunity to make your graduated pearl strands, your triple row pearl necklaces, amazing. And for me, one of the biggest selling points of this is that, for example, if you were to sell a bracelet, a pearl bracelet, and you've, you've bought your pearls from, from, from us, you've sold it, and then somebody wants another one. You can't guarantee you're going to get them the same pearls, the same same colour match and every, everything like that. And I always find that once you sell something, you can sell it again. Yeah. Yeah. So so having lots and lots of different things in your shop is fantastic, but having lots of different things, but having multiples of that item is even better because you can keep selling. Yeah. And because you've got, you've just got a massive opportunity there. It's amazing. It is incredible. Yeah. I mean, uh, just amazing. I love what you just said then about having multiples. Yeah, that's the way that I, because like, like yourself, I, I have my own business. And that is why I would buy that, because I know I can keep selling multiples and I can offer that same quality again and again and again. Fantastic. That's so, so great. There is literally only a couple left. We've got two left. There is literally two left. Um, and that is it. Um, but again, you know, looking at a return on investment, uh, uh, there's one left now. There's one left. Um, is incredible. You want them? <laughs> Katie's just like, she's just mouthed to me. I want those. I want those. Um, 
they're, they're incredible. I mean, and it, you know, when you think, look at this. You know what? If you went into a normal jewelry store and you saw this at this length, I would say this is quite like opera length. Yeah, and if you knotted it, it would be even longer, wouldn't it? Absolutely. Yeah. But if you went into a jewelry store and saw that, you know, for 199 pounds, it wouldn't bat an eyelid. No. You wouldn't bat an eyelid. Sterling you silver. You would question it if it wasn't that price, wouldn't you? You would question it. I mean, I think right now this is just incredible. There is one left. Four of you have got this. Five of you have got this in your shopping baskets. Um, it's going to be the fastest finger first. Whoever checks out first. Absolutely. If you do, if you miss it, you miss out. This is it. It is. It's the last uh, available that we have. Um, just uh, amazing. I love the idea of being able to make duplicates. And certainly, if you're advertising, say online, and you're showing one of your pieces online, and more than one person wants to buy that, yes. absolutely. You've then got maybe you've got a shop on I don't know Etsy or one of the other sites, and there are other sites available, obviously, that you can sell on. Um, but to be able to offer more than one is is just brilliant. You know, or um, I don't know, you're making a sweet for your bridesmaids things yeah, like that yeah, your bridesmaids you don't want to just have maybe two and then they say well I've got six bridesmaids and you go well I'll see if I can get it and then you've got to turn that down that order because you can't get matching colour yep there's six of these in baskets check it out there's one left that is it there's one left seven in baskets now seven in baskets it's going to be whoever checks out first and this is i've never seen anything like this before i mean i, I don't know if we've done big kind of bulk deals like this before but uh, it's certainly something that i haven't seen before 20 meters that's like almost half of an olympic size swimming pool that's crazy isn't it? they're 50 meters like aren't that, they yeah. olympic size swimming yeah. pools wow. i do yes Amazing. Anyway, I'll. I don't even want to touch them. I'm like, oh, they're so beautiful. I do. I just want to touch them all the time. Uh, let me move that over there. Oh, that's. Uh, anyway, someone will sort that. <laughs> So I've got some, um, I've got strand of sapphires. Um, these are really pretty, very pretty. I love the size on these as well. I think these would lend, them, lend themselves so well um, to a beautiful bracelet. 32 carats in your graduation that you've got here in these. They are gorgeous. Uh, we're looking at five by two um, by, to two by one, uh, approximately 19 centimeters. Wow. It's got a real sparkle from here. Beautiful. They're really sparkly, aren't they? And that cornflower blue, which is just so desirable. It's so desirable. Um, but also as well, like you say with the sparkle, because sapphires are a nine on the Mohs scale, um, what that does is that allows for, I'm just gonna move those over, uh, allows for really crisp facet junctions. So you get that real sharp sparkle to them, whereas with a softer gemstone, you, you just don't get that. And that's what I love about these. Should be at 49.95, absolutely. Um, but today, luxurious. You go into a department store, like, I don't know, somewhere like um, Selfridges or Harrods or and there are many other um, department stores available um, John Lewis anywhere that has like a high-end jewelry yeah. stand and you would see that in a, in a like again in one of those bracelets with a yes. slider yeah absolutely you know you'd only need that inch maybe yeah, yeah. incredible 34 uh, 95 today for 32 carats it's incredible it's one pound something a carat it's ridiculous <laughs> <laughs> for sapphires of this quality you know and we do see sapphires that are a lot less considered than this obviously but they tend to be a lot darker a lot more opaque you don't have that that quality this is definitely one that i would be adding a certificate of authenticity to absolutely <laughs> yes perfect Okay, I'm going to do a really quick auction because somebody said black diamonds. So, <gasps> they are my favourite. Oh my gosh, look at these. Right, I've got to show you these really. I mean, the epitome of luxury. Um, we, you know, to be able to offer, make your own jewellery and be able to offer your customers diamonds. Oh my, I went really Midlands on you then. Be able to offer your customers diamonds. Um, but they are exquisite. I love these. Two carats of stunning black diamonds. Oh my goodness me. Stunning. They're amazing. I'm not a brummie. Um, I think these are incredible. Um, I love that luster on the surface that you've got there. 
They are amazing. Um, I want to make some pet jewellery. That's what I want to do, some like pet collars and things like that. And there's, I think that there's such a niche right now for pampered pets. Mm. And I would love to get my hands on these to sew onto a, a pet collar and charge an astronomical amount yeah. of money for them. <laughs> But there is, you know, when you think about two carats of diamonds, you think thirty thousand pounds, thirty-five thousand, yeah. forty thousand pounds for two yeah. carats of diamonds. I saw a program re recently, and there was a lady, and she was u making shoes and putting real gemstones into shoes, <gasps> and she, I think there was something like fourteen carats of diamonds in a pair of shoes. Amazing. <gasps> oh, what? <laughs> Amazing. That's incredible. I think they are the luster on the surface, the quality as well. I mean, unmistakable. And just to be able to offer black diamonds to is incredible, isn't it? I mean, just oh, amazing. Two carats of black diamonds across what is there? Five stones there. It's, it's mad. Yeah. Just a pair of earrings and you, you've more than made your money back, haven't you? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Just using, uh, just little, I would just like a little, little, yeah. classic little drop. And the sparkle you're going to get are, are when they're kind of moving and the earring and the ears is amazing. These are gorgeous. Uh, get them. Um, right. Um, we are going to be back on the other side of this with our first kit. Yay! Um, we've got Lapis Lazuli coming up for you straight after the break and then we've got the Cleopatra Snake. Don't go anywhere, we'll see you in two. You can now book Jewelry Maker workshops online. Just head over to our Jewelry Maker website and click on the workshop link. We have a wide range of workshops from beginner to intermediate covering a variety of mediums. Once you've found a workshop you would like to attend, simply click on the Book Now button. Fill in the required fields and then press Continue. This will take you through to the payment page. If you have any questions, you can contact our workshop coordinator at any time by emailing workshop at jewelrymaker.com. We look forward to seeing you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Getting started with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. When you spend with us £4.95, you will get a free welcome pack. That welcome pack will give you pretty much everything you need to get started. From a manual, which will help you to familiarise yourself with all of the items that you're going to be creating and all of the products that you need, including tools and findings and threads. You'll also get a DVD and step-by-step -step project cards. These cards and the DVD will give you the chance to be able to create a wonderful arrangement of different items of jewellery. Plus, you'll also get a free three pack of tools. These will be everything you need to get started. So, getting started with the Jewellery Maker couldn't be easier. So why not give it a go today? Jewellery Maker, your one-stop shop for all your jewellery making needs. Our Jewelry Maker community is a fantastic platform to share, learn, chat and make new friends. So why not like our Facebook page and join over 64,000 like-minded people? If you have a question or a query for Jewelry Maker, then you can contact our call center on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Or alternatively, you can email help at jewelrymaker.com. It couldn't be easier to buy from Jewelry Maker with all the information you need right there on screen. From the item code and the product description right down to the price. And whether you're buying at the beginning or at the end of the offer, everyone pays the final on-screen price. So what are you waiting for? Simply telephone our free phone number or join us at JewelryMaker.com and start your jewelry making journey today. Jewelry Maker, your one-stop shop for all your jewelry making needs. 
At Jewelry Maker, we are always looking at ways to provide you with a fantastic shopping experience. With this in mind, we'd like to welcome you to our new pre-order option. Selected items throughout the day will be put on display and made available for pre-order. When the presenter informs you that the pre-order service is available on an item, this is your chance to pop it into your online basket or speak to one of our brilliant call centre team members and be one of the first to secure your purchase. Hello, hello. Yay! Hello. This is lovely. I'm so excited about this kit. Oh, I love it. It's incredible. Both kits have been amazing today. They're, they're incredible, absolutely beautiful. And what you've created is just phenomenal. And like totally my kind of thing, really is, absolutely. Jewelry is arriving on set as we speak. That is, it's live TV, everybody. Um, so we talked about, you, the first kit is Cleopatra. And so let's talk about an ancient Egyptian gemstone in keeping with the whole Cleopatra yeah. theme. So we've got some beautiful lapis. Was it? Um, <laughs> um, so when I was in Egypt, I saw the Tutankhamun mask, which is incredible. Um, and I, I was expecting it to be bigger for some reason. Um, but he was a boy, I guess. Um, and you've got those, obviously, the ribbons of lapis kind of going through. And this, you see lapis ed everywhere, like when you're looking through the museums. It's incredible. Um, so this is so cool. And it would go beautifully with the kit as well, because you've got you those flecks of gold like actually within the, these wonderful blues of the, of the lapis as well. Um, so take a look at this. We, I don't often see lapis in in round polished beads like this yeah. it's usually in i don't know other shapes yeah, i usually get them in, in cabochons and, and things like that but they, these are gorgeous aren't they i love them really really wonderful vivid blues that you've got here really electric blues yet at the same time it's it's deep and it's rich and it always reminds me of you know kind of this time of night really actually it's probably dark by now but once the sun's got kind of gone down and you've just got that blue glow in the sky yeah, just yeah. as the sun sets yeah, and deep blue, yeah yeah just as it's about to get dark, it's gorgeous. And the quality that you've got of these as well, you can see, um, you know, all of those flecks of gold that are coming through, all of those pyrite inclusions, these are new. Brand new today, 38 centimetres in the strand, 180 carats of your ancient Egyptian gemstone. Um, this time last year, I was on a cruise ship on a 45-day cruise, and I was uh, lecturing about different gemstones and representing a, a brand on board, and um, it was incredible. And I did a, a whole lecture. We went through the Suez Canal, and I did a whole lecture on gemstones of ancient Egypt, and it just took me back there. It's, it's incredible. Um, but it's just such a desirable colour, and what I love about lapis is, you know, you've got that history, and it's really lovely if you sell your jewellery face-to-face -face with people that you get that opportunity to be able to share stories yeah, with yeah, people. Yeah, to be able to talk about history and things, yeah. Yeah, Amazing. definitely. You know, facts tell, but stories sell. And so I just love that. And you can say, if you've been to the Sistine Chapel and you've seen, you know, the ceiling in the Sistine Chapel, the blue that was painted in the sky uh, came from lapis. Cleopatra herself, you know, her famous blue eyeshadow that she was, you know, depicted to wear this famous blue eyeshadow was ground down lapis lazuli. She got her minions to, to grind down the lapis and mix it with milk and water and create these these incredible famous blue um, eye, eye makeup. <laughs> I was going to say eyebrows there, and I'm like, no, nobody wants blue eyebrows. I've seen a few people with purple eyebrows. Um, but yeah, just gorgeous. And you know, we've got the kit coming up, and I just want to just hold um, the, these two colours oh, together, yes. you know, and with the gold wire coming up as well. I mean, the, the, the options are endless. Yeah, it's a great addition for the kids. Isn't it? Absolutely. We should have had, this should have been lapis. I'm going to write a strongly worded email. There should have been lapis in the kit. It would have been so clear, yes. Patra. <laughs> Absolutely. Yes. Gorgeous. Um, really, really lovely. Um, 
But no, aside from the golds as well, I mean, this so, it pretty much goes with everything, right? Yeah, I do often quite, you know, put it with silver, silver plated wire or sterling silver wire, and it, it works beautifully with that too. And coppers. Mmm, <gasps> be nice, coppers yeah. and kind of um, uh, antique bronze. Yeah, antique bronze colours, yeah. And under five pounds, under five pounds today, four pound ninety five. <laughs> That's crazy. It is. it is absolutely beautiful quality. So again, you know, if you're new, you can get involved. <laughs> you can purchase um, this strand at four pound ninety five, and. Mm -hmm. You get the, the getting started kit. Yes, yes. Absolutely. Yeah, you can make a stretcher with these again. I'm going to go back to that because I think that is lovely. A pair of jeans. Yeah. Simple. Really easy to do. How, how quickly could you make a stretchy bracelet? Uh, probably about 15 minutes. Just to just threading and making sure you've knotted it properly and covering it up. Yeah, easy. There we go. Brilliant. 15 minutes. And of course, you get your jewellers elastic uh, with the jewellery making starter kit, which we love. Fabulous. Wonderful. Okay. Is it time for the kit? It's time for the kit. Here she is, ladies and gentlemen, the legend that is Katie, um, who has created, oh my gosh, the most incredibly elaborate, beautiful, elegant, stylish designs. Um, and I am absolutely blown away um, by uh, just everything that you've made in this kit it is just so exquisite and the color palette the subtleties um, of the champagnes and the golds together just yeah. really gives it this huge kind of air of elegance and glamour I love it awesome yeah. work so much fun to work with absolutely look at this so this is what you're going to be demoing right yeah. we'll be showing well, on parts of it yeah, parts of it we'll be able to do all of it but yeah we'll be here till, <laughs> till, yeah. like, till tomorrow morning if we demo the whole thing but that that snake necklace is just amazing absolutely and you, you, there's so many big designers and there's one or two in particular that come to mind when you look at serpent jewelry yeah, i was in leeds yesterday and just looking in a lot of the uh, windows there was lots of snake jewellery. It's yeah. gorgeous. I've got a snake ring. I love it. It's black diamonds, black rhodium, and it's got black diamonds in it, and I love it wrapping around the finger. Uh, there we go. There's a stunning uh, snake ring. And the Swarovski um, that you used in that piece as well has that real Morganite feel yeah, to it. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's my oh. favourite, favourite Swarovski colour. Favourite Swarovski colour. I love it. That is gorgeous. Um, so what are you going to be demo? You're going to be demoing the, the wraparound, yeah. right? Yep. Yeah. Um, okay, awesome. Um, and this, well, tell me about this piece we're showing this right now. This is a Viking knit mm -hmm. with the uh, 0.4. Uh, it's just Viking knit and then I've pulled it out and popped pop some wire inside it to make them bends and uh, wired the strategy into the end. Amazing. Just fun. Just fun. Amazing. Right, let's go through everything we get and then we can get the kit. Um, we can get the demo. So we're going to start with, um, you have got in the kit, um, let's start off with the wire. So you're getting two spools of wire. Um, one of those is a 0.25. And the other one is a 1.25, uh, and there are 10 meters of uh, both. Uh, sorry, 10 meters of the 1.25 and 100 meters yes. of the well, 0.25. Not, yeah. That's a desirable length. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. They're brilliant to really build your stash up. And I, one of my favourite weaving wires is the 0.25, just because it, it's really easy to work with and it gives a really fine detail. Beautiful. Beautiful. And did you just use, did you use any extra for the... Uh, no, we, I got an additional part, additional part of the kit to, uh, to add on to it to do some other things Perfect. with it too. Yeah. But this part is 1995. Um, there are the Swarovski, um, beautiful. Um, these are incredible. You've got the light silk Swarovski chunky pear fancy stones. Um, and you've also got um, the cushion cuts as well. <gasps> the, but that, the cushion cuts are, are almost like, I haven't got one here, but they're amazing. I mean, so glam. Yeah. So mm -hmm. glam. I love this color. I mean, just look at this. I mean, Really, really pretty, beautiful. Um, Morganite, champagne, diamond colours that you've got here. It's beautiful, isn't it?
Gorgeous. Uh, and then you've also as well got your, um, these are incredible, so glam. Uh, your beautiful shell pearls as well. These are absolutely beautiful. Um, they are your champagne gold shell pearls, plain rounds. Uh, these are 10 mil, so really nice size. Yeah, great size. Beautiful. I mean, just that in itself. So that's 20 pounds, all of that, the Swarovski. Um, you know, if you were to go to a Swarovski store and see this in a Swarovski piece of jewelry, you know, 20 pounds. I don't think I've ever seen anything in a Swarovski no, store at 20 pounds. Let alone, you get in the whole kit, all of that wire and everything for 20 pounds. Now there's also um, these two, um, two extra spools of wire uh, that Katie, that Katie uh, got sent to her as well. So we're gonna bring these to you as well. Um, and they are, you've got your 10 meters of your 0.8 and you've also got 50 meters of your 0.4 there's only 47 of these, so you've got to be quick, quick, quick. Um, 10 meters of the champagne gold colored silver plated copper wire, which is the 0.8, and 50 meters of the champagne gold plated copper wire at 0.4. And I just want to show you them on the, uh, them? I want to show you the, the oh, it is English. I want to show you them on the inside <laughs> profile. Um, that color. I mean, yeah, I, you know, I'm not somebody that wears a lot of gold gold. No, but the, the champagne gold, it, it's, it's just a league of its own, isn't it? It's it is. so soft, so gentle for gold, yeah. It is really beautiful, really lovely. Um, I love it. Absolutely gorgeous. And you're getting both for £6.95. Fantastic. Isn't it? Isn't it? Fantastic. Add them to your order as well. We are limited on these. There's less than 40 chances uh, available for you. So uh, make sure you are quick, quick, quick to get these. Uh, beautiful. I love it. So that, the whole thing, you know, with everything that we just showed you, with the, the four Swarovski, um, with the uh, shell pearls, um, and the, the two lots, I mean, you've got, how many have you got? You've got 100 meters there, you've got 10 meters there, you've got 50 meters there, that's 160, 170 meters of wire. Um, that alone for 27 pounds is ridiculous. It's crazy, isn't it? Isn't it? Absolutely. And, you know, I know that these have, have taken a while for yeah. you to create. I mean, they are beautiful. But in terms of, again, return on investment, you know, what kind of, just for one of those pieces? Oh, for, I mean, for just the, the big one at the end, the one that we're going to demo. Yeah. I'm probably looking at about £70. Pounds. About £70? Pounds? Yeah. Absolutely. Beautiful. Fantastic. Okay, so what we're going to see, we're going to see this, the, the serpent wrap around. Yeah, obviously fabulous. I'm not going to be able to make it all, but I can show you the different elements that, that I use to pop, pop it together. Brilliant. Okay. So I'm using the 1.25 wire, and I've probably got uh, about 60 centimetres. Okay. This, yeah. yeah, about 60 centimetres. I never really measure anything. But you've got to think, it's going to go around your head and you've just got to make the head shape as well. So, so it depends on how long you want it, but you can shorten it if it turns out to be a bit too long. Okay, so you want to start working on the head part first. And we're going to work in probably about five inches or so. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're just going to pop a little kink in there just so that we awesome. know where we're working from. And then what I'm going to do is just really gently bring this wire around to make the head shape. So I know it's rounded at the moment, but we're going to change that in a few minutes. And just to make it easier so that you know exactly where you want to be, just pop another little kink in that, just using your pliers. And then the best thing to do is actually hold this with your pliers. So I'll hold it all together and then just using your fingers. To say this is 1.25, it's so malleable, it's so easy to use. And then just give that maybe one or two wraps wow. just to secure. Okay. So, like so. And then what we're going to do is we know that this is uh, going to be the centre line sort of ac across here. So we know where the tip of our, our snake's nose needs to be. So we're just going to pop our chain nose pliers in with this edge where we, where we want the tip to be. And just a very, very slight movement just to either side until you get, just keep working a little bit, a little bit, until you get that nice shape at the end there. Okay. Ah. 
Right, the next thing we need to do is just pop a little spiral swirl in there. So we're just going to use our round nose pliers, just popping it in right to the very tip, so right on the very edge there, mm -hmm. and start working that in. Reposition your pliers and work that right down to where you need it to be. Once you get to the point where you can't do that anymore, just pop in your chain nose pliers and work that down a little bit further. And don't forget, if you're um, trying this out for the first time with the, the starting kit, you've got uh, some round nose pliers. Yeah, you've got some round nose pliers in there, um, some pliers to get you started. Round nose, chain nose, and side cutter pliers. There you go. Great. So what I'm going to do now is just so that I know, keep my nice shape here, is I'm just going to give it a slight hammer just on this hedge part of it. So I'm going to pop it right to the edge so that my wrap is off the side here. And then just using my hammer, just to put it nice, good tap to get it to work harder so that we can keep that shape. And just on the very tip there, just in case that ends up showing, if you just give that a bit of an extra tap and kind of brush it away as you're doing it, mm -hmm. so in this direction, it'll just give that a really nice shape. So that if, when you've finished your design, because each one will be totally different because it's got a bit of a crazy wrap to it. Uh, each one, uh, you know, you may get a little bit of that shown, so it's quite nice to have it flat and it just gives it a little bit more of a design to it. Nice, makes okay. me want to go hi ho okay. when I hear and that And you noise. can also um, hammer this little swirl if you wanted to. I did, I did on the main one, but you know, it's, it's up to you, it's what you, what you decide to do. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is going to get some more of our 1.25. And you can use as much as you want at a time because we're just going to wrap it in lots of different sections. Don't try and wrap it all in one go because you'll just have so much wire flying around <laughs> everywhere. It'll be crazy. So uh, just take off, you know, around about the same length as we started those sections. And what we need to do is start wrapping around the length of it. So I'm going to leave a little section here because I want to wrap that around this, this main bit. But just... Working it around. Don't be too nice about anything. Just watch yourself. On the I was wire. just going to say, you'll be standing eye out then. I'm going to stand yeah, yeah. <laughs> And just start wrapping it around. It's all going to get a little bit wire everywhere, so I'll try not to knock everything over. But you know, you don't have to be nice or anything. It can be a loose wrap, you can wrap it tight to it. But just working round and around until you get to the other end. But obviously not right down to the other end because we want is that him to have a little bit of a tail at the end. Okay. So don't worry if it misshapes a little bit; it'll be absolutely fine. If you get to the end and then think, "Oh, I've gone," I, you know, I've got to my, the end of my wire and I, I don't want it to go any further, just loop it back on itself. You can create loops as you go as well if you want to. And then whenever you get to the end of the wire, just pop a little little swirl in on the end and nip it in. Now this end. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start wrapping around this frame to make a little cage. Okay, and each time, once I get to the end, so I've got like a, a gap in, inside there mm -hmm. that I can pop things into afterwards. So each time you get to the end, just snip it off. And then using your round nose, just link it in so that it attaches around there. So it's nice and, and neat. And you're going to keep doing that lots and lots and lots of times. Okay? Mm -hmm. so, no. so you'll end up with something like this. Ah! Okay? So that, that's your head side and this is your tail side. Also, just on going back to the hammering, but I won't actually do it, I hammered just the, just the very end of his tail just to give it a nice effect as well. Okay? So like I said, with the, any of these little bits that get, that get left, just give them a curl round. They don't have to be exactly spiralled but just so you can curl them round and just work them into your design. Obviously making sure there's nothing that could scratch against your neck or anything like that. And you can just kind of slot them through like so. So it just works in. And then this end just pop a little turn it in there. And then just using your pliers just decide where that's going to sit a squish together and then just push it in 
and like I say, as, as it builds up, you'll, you'll see a, a nice sort of chunkier shape, so you're going to get that nice chunkier shape. So I think I did it probably around a few more times than this, mm -hmm. but just, just for display but, uh, demonstration purposes, I've just uh, done it a few times just so you can see where we're going with it. Okay, so the next thing you're going to do, this is going to be the tricky one because it did take me quite a while to get it to sit in the same, the right place. So No pressure. Yeah. <laughs> okay, fingers crossed. Okay, so I hope we can see this on camera. I'll try and do it so you can see it. But what you can, this is what I kept doing. I kept dropping it through. What you need to do is find a gap where your crystals or your Shrovsky, your, your pearls can go in and then encourage it to behave, which it probably won't do now, but... It's live TV, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's, it's not going to behave. Come on. It did it out there perfectly as well, so it's never going to do it again. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can get... Yay! Woo! So it's gone. gone down. Don't move. <laughs> Don't breathe, anybody. So it's gone down there, and what I'm going to do is going to pop a pearl inside. Okay, and then you can pop what, whatever else you can fit into there. So you can pop a couple. This one's slightly slightly bigger on this one, so I could pop maybe one of the cushion ones in there. And now that pearl's in there and it's against yeah. the Shirovsky, what I'm going to do is get some wire. I don't want to let go of it now. <laughs> do you want, do you want <laughs> me to hold that a second? I'll hold this. Teamwork makes Teamwork. the dream work. Yeah. There you go. So let's just... How much do you we want? just need a little piece. So this is the 0.4. There we go. So I'm going to pop that through the hole in my pearl, like so. And then all I'm going to do is holding that down so it holds that shrosky in place. So the shrosky is not actually attached apart from the tension that's holding it together. I'm sorry if you, you can't see properly, of course, on my hand, but you'll be able to see in a second. So, and then just give this a couple of wraps either side and then just work your wire into it so just using any of the wires across just to secure this pearl into place so one wrap round and another get it to come around in the right place and then for this side too let's just turn this around so obviously you'd take lots of time and make sure everything's super secure I have a feeling I'm going to pick this up and it's going to fall out <laughs> It's awkward yeah. as well, though, because you've got yeah, the, camera. I'm trying to show the camera. You would never, yeah. you'd never do it like that at home. You no, wouldn't be when like I did it working at home, like, I had, like this. it was like on my nose. Kind of thing. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but you get the idea. You're kind of just securing everything in there, and so I've just given that a couple of wraps. I'll probably give it a few more wraps, to be honest. But we're going to just see if that holds just for now, just so you can get the gist of what I did. Now, the two other things that I did I would just nip those little bits of wire in. Two other things that I did was I made some weaves. Ooh. So, use, so this is just a 0.8 and just two wraps and another two wraps over, over both. So it's really simple weave. You can use any weaves you want. And I wrapped that around the head too. So just wrapping it around just so you know gives it a little bit more of an effect and then finished it off with little swirls and things. So anything that you can just add further detail to. So I wrapped that around and then finished that off with more swirls and things around the neckline. So that just gives it an extra, if I just show that that way, you can see a bit more extra detail on the head there. And then the only other thing that I did was I used some gizmo coils, which are here. So this is just wrapping around your gizmo tool or any sort of... Uh, rods that you have so mm -hmm. just wrapping the 0.4 around and around and around and making lengths of it and then I've popped the 0.8 through and again it's just a matter of it's like the easiest make ever really I feel like I've cheated now I've showed you <laughs> it <laughs> so, looks so elaborate though yeah. so so detailed so just using the, the tails of this wire once you've wrapped it through to so wrap it on and then just working your way around and just adding more detail just like we did with the uh, original wire as we began. It's incredible. So you've got yeah. the different textures, you've got, you know. Yeah, it's just adding texture and detail mm -hmm. and you can pop extra swirls on. I think parts of the way around, I just kind of brought my, my gizmo and made a, a swirl just to add a little bit extra and then you can change direction with it. And I did little ends like this so that I could sort of work with it without it being too cumbersome to work with. Mm -hmm. So lots and lots of little lengths and then just building up all your ends with little swirls and things and, and it just comes together really nicely. And I think 
Uh, yeah, I added some of the gizmo curl just to make sort of the end of his tail a little bit more detailed. It's fab. It's fab. Thank you so much. It looks so complicated and I'm like, yeah, oh my gosh. Yeah, so I just really quickly just showed you all the different bits and things. But obviously when you do it yourself, you take a bit, bit more time. But of course. I, I absolutely love making that. And we've loved the demo. Thank you, Katie. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Um, awesome. I can't wait for the next demo coming up in the 9 o'clock hour. Great Gatsby. It's fabulous. Um, right, we've got right now, um, I think you might like these. Oh, they are gorgeous. Oh, I've got, I've got, they, yeah, they are top drilled. Oh, sorry, I've got the wrong ones. Um, yes, we have. Oh, the oh, hello. These are gorgeous as well. Wow, the um, colour is amazing. The colour is amazing, isn't it? Uh, again, I'm looking at this. Got all of this champagne gold and going. Oh, that's regal. Um, so. We have got guaranteed for you under five pounds today. We've got so much going under five pounds. It is a stash building um, uh, extravaganza. That's what we should have called the show, you know, stash stash building extravaganza. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, these are gorgeous. Um, I love the bicones. They're just just a different. Yeah, just it's like it's a bit like the wire work. It's just adding different textures, different shapes, and, and working with different shapes is. It, it kind of just pushes your boundaries a bit rather than just sticking to the rounds. But I mean, those in between rounds would look amazing. Oh, wow, absolutely. Yeah. They're gorgeous. I love these. I love the shape. They're like little flying saucers. They're awesome. And the color, the richness of the color that you've got there, I'm just going to drop it down so it's not against my black top. Um, but that's incredible. I love these. And they're three pounds and 95 pence. <laughs> For genuine amethyst. Oh my gosh. Hello Dawn. Hello Hilary. Um, nice to see you. Uh, 3.95. They are gorgeous. We've got the sky blue appetite coming up for you as well at the end of this hour. Uh, well done there. Fiona's just joined us as well. These are gorgeous. And I, I love, I mean, for £3.95, I mean, it's the price of it. You know, if you went for a designer coffee, you know, at that coffee place. I bought two black coffees today and that cost me nearly £6. There you go. Yeah. There you go. I know, right? It's crazy. Um, but when you put it into perspective like that, yeah. it's like, oh my goodness. Uh, hello, Cindy, Janet, Wendy, Bertha, loads. Oh, lovely Bertha in Colorado. I used to live in Colorado. Um, gorgeous uh, for three ninety five. If you've already bought some, t t t yeah, mm, yeah, do that. Add it to your order. <laughs> <laughs> I think I just needed like a reboot or something. Then it's like, oh, I've got stuck. Um, amazing. And with the kit as well, uh, you know, if you've got yeah. some wire left over, I mean, I love the shampoo. Champagne gold yeah, with the purple the together. Beautiful. Very regal. Very regal. Three ninety five. Fantastic. Right. Next up, we've got. Ah, oh, I want this. I want this. I am slightly obsessed with rose gold, and I am slightly obsessed with hearts. For somebody who's not very girly, I oh, absolutely. Really like the I know. How I lovely is this though? How lovely is this though? You could like stamp this, couldn't you? Or like yeah. engrave it or yeah. something like that as well. These are stunning. So you have got your beautiful 95 sterling silver um, with the rose gold plating that you've got here. Um, this is beautiful. It is your um, heart slider bracelet. And we were talking about these slider bracelets earlier, weren't we? I've spoken about them a lot today. You've got a little bit of silicon inside so that you can then slide to adjust. They're very secure and I've got moisturizer on my hands. Probably not the best idea to put moisturizer on my hands. Uh, but there you go. So you've got that sliding mechanism. They are gorgeous. And then um, you've got two little balls uh, at the end. So this is perfect for whatever wrist size you, you, you know, works with everybody. Yeah. And with me, I've got little baby, tiny baby wrists, and it's like yes, impossible yeah. to find bracelets. So I always go for something like this because, as well, if you're selling your jewellery, you you know you don't want to yeah, limit. People, people will buy as a gift because you don't need to know the wrist size. Exactly, yeah. exactly. It's not just a pretty face, is she? Um, and then, of course, on either side here, um, you've uh, just got two little rings, so you can attach. We were talking about. I'm just going to do this. I'm oh, just. Yeah gonna do this because for me th this is my favorite combination I'm gonna make an entire rose gold and black collection uh, uh, when I get started so all you would need is uh, if you haven't got the wire you just need a head pin yeah just chop the ball off the end keep the ball because you can set it into your resin or something like that and uh, thread them on, onto your head pin put a little wrap loop on each end done 
There you go. Ta-da! It's very luxurious. $14.95. There's a weight of silver in this as well. What are we talking about in silver? 3.2 grams of silver. You can feel the luxury, the quality of the finish. Rose gold, so popular right now. Bang on trend. It really, really is. I love it. I love it. Absolutely. $14.95. Beautiful. I'm loving it. The heart does it for me as well, especially. Yeah. I love, love hearts. Uh, the spinel, by the way, the one, to, uh, is it the one, the, today's must have, it's coming up for you. I'm so rubbish at the name of all of these auctions. Uh, it's coming up for you in about 30 minutes, so uh, only 30 minutes to wait on that uh, if you want to get the spinel to go with this. Right, next up, uh, number 11. Ooh. Oh, that's that shape. Aren't they incredible? aren't they incredible this is wonderful um you know you've got lavenders and uh, wisteria and uh, all of these like crocuses it's this kind of spring i'm like i'm 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 putting the spring out there like to the universe we need some spring um it's it's so pretty and this shape as well that you've got here um with these uh, wonderful spiral drums i mean when you move these just that kind of liquid light that you've got on the surface it's incredible yeah it's just like what we're talking before it's just adding another dimension to your jewelry adding that different shape it's great absolutely they're so pretty what would you use these for though i mean just just as a basic drop earring because because they'll catch the light so differently they'll they'll really stand out absolutely. even with the shell pearls that we had earlier they'd look great with them oh yes shell pearls. Yeah. absolutely Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Eight pounds and 95 pence. Uh, a weight of amethyst you've got here again, 150 carats. Um, lovely, um, really beautiful kind of pastel springs. Nice with your uh, rose quartz and your praesolite again, that kind of, yeah. maybe some of the barrels, you know, those kind of softer palette. Yeah, yeah, it's all them spring. Yeah. Springtime Easter colours, isn't it? It is, absolutely. It's very kind of mother of the bride as well, yes. isn't it? Yes. There you go, £8.95. Uh, add it to your order today if you've already purchased something. Um, I love the idea of just having those on a drop and then you've got that spiral and when you kind of move yeah. in, you're going to get that movement and the light kind of... Yeah, the light's going to reflect off it really differently than what it do, would do just a faceted gemstone because you're going to get that flash from it, aren't you? Absolutely, love that. Um, talking of... Wow. Whoa. Oh, my word. I'm just putting this out there. This is the most exquisite strand of morganite that I've ever seen on JM. I'm going to just put it out there. Um, this is not going to be a strand for everybody. When you see this, you'll be like, oh my gosh. Uh, this is what, uh, this is jewellery store high-end yeah. quality. It's another level, isn't it? It Absolutely. is. Incredible. Um, feast your eyes on this. Oh my goodness me. This is outstanding. The clarity that you have got with that beautiful micro faceting that you've got across every single one of these stones. Um, I'm going to just put it out there right now and say that it, this is, get this home, see it for yourself. It doesn't do it just justice, does it, when you see it on no, camera, no, what we see in here. No. Incredible. Um, the clarity is outstanding. The wonderful, there's almost, um, you know, some of these. <laughs> Look at us. <laughs> yeah, just excuse us a second. But you've almost got like this rainbows okay. coming through. Oh, wow. like, that is incredible. Oh, if you got the, the pearls earlier. Mm. Oh my word, with those, with the multiple <gasps> pearls. Amazing. Absolutely. Only 19 chances, I do believe. Um, Wonderful. Um, we're going to bring you 45 cal cal carats, carats of Morganite of this calibre under £50. <laughs> 49 95 oh, incredible. Word. And it's becoming, you know, I don't know, 10 years ago, it was a gemstone that not many people really knew about, but now, you know, it's becoming so much more desirable. And uh, the demand for pink gemstones has gone through the roof. You know, pink diamonds became so popular. Um, and, and since then, there's been a huge demand for, for pink gemstones. But this caliber, I mean, you know, without a shadow of a doubt, this is the, the finest strand of morganite that I've ever seen at, at JM. It's amazing. Beautiful. 
Love it. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Right, uh, next up, um, we've got, oh, oh, these are ace. I um, don't think I've ever used the word ace on TV before. <laughs> I've got some the elongated pairs, but they're drilled at the top. I like these. Or the bottom. Or top the top bottom. Or the, yeah. Is it the fat end? <laughs> then. <laughs> They've been drilled at the fat end. Um, I don't think I've ever said that on TV before either. Um, take a look at these. What time is it? Oh, it's only half past seven. Um, They're almost like arrowheads, aren't they? They are. Yeah. They're really cool. Imagine them set into a tiara. A tiara? A tiara. <laughs> You've been sitting next to me for yeah. too long. Yeah. yeah. In a tiara, they'd be amazing. They, they would. Absolutely. That'd be incredible. I'm um, very regal princess. Yeah. Beautiful. Again, the clarity is absolutely phenomenal. You don't usually see them drilled this way as well. When you look at, at drops, they usually, the drill, the hole goes through there and then you've got the droplet that way as opposed to it being that way. Yeah. That, these are incredible. <gasps> oh, I think these are, I, I'm, I'm loving the tiara idea. I think that's wonderful. Being drilled there as well, it's going to give it a lot more strength with that where the drill hole is so you're going to be yeah. able to work with it sort of more with your wire and things like that and be be assured that you know you're not going to break your gemstone because yeah. sometimes when they have drilled right on the tip and you're working with wire you are a bit a little bit more careful but you, you could go quite heavy with some wire work designs around these they're awesome i mean just imagine that like the points just like sticking out and I'm yeah <laughs> it's not very uh, it's not i'm not painting a very good a more picture angular there design. that's exactly yeah. what i meant to say <laughs> That's why you're the expert, Katie. Um, but yeah, definitely. Oh, that's brilliant. I love that. They're, they're amazing. And they're sizable as well. I mean, every single one of these is, is sizable, even down to the, the smaller ones. And then, again, a, incredible clarity, this wonderful, just beautiful kind of light throughout each and every one of them. And the yeah. glow is amazing. Oh, they're incredible. I'm thinking, you know, I'm thinking, you know, Midsummer Night's Dream, like Queen of the Fairies yeah. type oh, thing. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be amazing. I'm so loving this. <laughs> I love being here. It's so lovely. Hopefully they'll have me back some more because it's, it is, it's always lovely being here. They're gorgeous. Um, right, good luck, good luck. Right, next up, um, we've got, oh my gosh. <gasps> Wow, look at these. Oh, wow. Look at the colour. I know. Almost a kind of like angel-like colour that you've got here with these blue opals. These are amazing. And again, going back to that kind of pastel palette, these are, these are perfect. Look at these. <gasps> They're gorgeous. Oh my gosh, I love these. That colour. They're, they're just so bright, yet at the same time calming and soothing. Yeah, it's calming, cooling. They soothing. are beautiful and really lovely shape as well. Really love this shape. What would you be doing with these? What's I'll, your first thing? Probably make a, a long necklace, just a long chain, and then add a short amount of chain just to the bottom, and cascade them. Graduate them, sort of the biggest at the bottom, and then cascade them down. Then. Oh, I like that idea. Another really jingly, jangly sort of a. Long necklace. Yes, I like that idea. Almost like a like a tassel yeah, type like thing. A tassel, yeah. <laughs> this is the what universal sign. Today, aren't we? <laughs> it's the universal sign for tassel. Um, Fourteen ninety five as well. They're stunning. Where are they from? These blue opals. That I was going to say. They they're a different colour to what you see in Peru. There's more uh, more of a. Uh, I don't know how to describe it. It's. Uh, Again, more of a cornflower blue. I don't want to sound like a, a broken record, but it's like yeah, like a, it, a dusky, it that, yeah. it's almost like a, got, got a grey yeah. undertone to it as well. Baby blue. Love that. $14.95. Gorgeous. Right, it's time for the appetite. Uh, everybody's been asking about it, so we're going to have to do it. Um, it is time for this the strand that everybody wants to own, and it's coming up for you as a star buy right now. I 
I just want to take this home. I just want to look at it. It's, it's tranquil, isn't it? It's, it's beautiful. It's just, <sighs> you want to dive into it. You do. It's like tropical waters yeah. in a gemstone. It really, really is. When you see, you know, you, you're on holiday and you see the, the, the water and then it gets like darker. It's like those, right at the beginning when you've got those wonderful, yeah. beautiful aqua. Um, I, I, it's called sky blue, but it, it's really got that, a, a more of an aqua kind of undertone to it. It is absolutely amazing. This colour, this is, uh, uh, the, for me, this is the strand of the, the, the night so far um, the glow that you've got the luminosity that you've got uh, and that's the great thing with appetite it's renowned for having that wonderful luminosity and that amazing glow from within yes. and it's got an awesome story as well you know what this appetite could have started its life out as a dinosaur did you know that no there you go Every day is a school day. So a lot of appetite actually comes, well, we've all got appetite because it's formed from uh, in our teeth. So okay. a lot of um, appetite is believed that actually it start, could have started out as a dinosaur and uh, the dinosaur bone has then been formed under heat and pressure down into the into the appetite. That's amazing, right? That is amazing. I didn't know that. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> just, uh, just thought I'd share that with you. Um, it's cool. I, I'm, you know, I'm really into. I'm such a geek. I'm really a science geek, and I, I love anything to do with uh, nature I love and learning wildlife. All these things. It's amazing. It's cool, isn't it? But it's just. I mean, aside from that, look at it against that black background, and that's really the testament with that being against the black background to see the the light that is just glowing and illuminating. For it's like every single one of those stones has got its very own light source. Yet at the same time. It's got that wonderful, almost like, uh, it's almost like it's liquid, yeah. you know, like it droplets is, yeah. of oh, illuminating deliciousness. No, are you serious? I was thinking twenty nine ninety five something like that for a strand of this quality. Wait till you see this. Wait till you see this. No way. And you can, if you're new, you can get the welcome pack. You can get the welcome pack. A strand of appetite. Oh my gosh, usually it's only used as accenting gemstones when you see it set into jewelry because the stones are usually, they're so small. And once they've been cut and faceted, you know, for this gemstone, each one of these to be perfectly color matched as they are, you know, you've got one or two that have got more of a green or more of a blue, but pretty much perfectly color matched. All of them have got the most incredible clarity. Four pounds and 95 pence. Uh, there's something so attractive about this gemstone. So enticing. It's amazing. And 4.95, you get the welcome pack. With your three sets of pliers, your jeweler's elastic, you've got your findings kit, you've got all the all the goodness that you've got in there. Um, your recipe cards for jewellery. There you go. Four pound ninety. I'd be multi-buying on these. I'd be multi-buying on these. Um, well done. Uh, Janice is there. Collecting Hampshire has bought two. Hello, Tina, Joanne, Darren. Um, you've got uh, Janet, Mary and Jerry, Bertha. Uh, collecting North Yorkshire have bought three of these. Is that you? No, it's not me. Are you not, are you not, you're not your North Yorkshire, no, are you? West. West Yorkshire. There we go. So it's definitely not you. I wondered if you got your phone down there and you were like... <laughs> <No>. <laughs> People do that. They, they run out, don't they? Um, well done. London's bought two of these. I've been multi, 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 multi buying on these. I've never Absolutely. seen a strand of this calibre for under, you know, £20 before. And this yeah. is incredible. And we keep seeing it against that black background. So I'd definitely put this with a spinel. Would you? With the larger one, with the largest spinel. This because one, of the wheels will fit beautifully <gasps> between. Oh, it'd be an amazing accent. That's incredible. And we've got the spinel coming up for you in 15, just over 15 minutes. Yeah, can you imagine <gasps> that just strung together with that, with just a single appetite between each of those? Look amazing. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, Jane, you've got uh, Jane in, in the Loire. Uh, Jane in France has got two of these. Hampshire's got two of these. Uh, multi, multi, multi buy. It's incredible. Um, you know, what, what this. I mean, I'm looking at so many pieces that we we bought to you. So, uh, so many, um, uh, uh, just everything. I'm looking, going, oh, that go nice with it. That would go nice with it. It's incredible. Oh, I love these. I'm loving it with the black spinel as well. It's so my kind of thing. Yeah, and it, all the amethyst that we bought tonight goes perfectly with that. Oh, yes. Real pop of colour. Absolutely. Let's put these two together. <gasps> Hello. Amazing. Isn't it? 
Beautiful. Christine, hello, you bought three. A lot of people are multi-buying. Remember, it's 1 p.m.p. until midnight tonight. If you've already bought something today, add this to your order. And again, if I saw this caliber of gemstone in a really high-end jewelry, this is the quality that you would see set into 18 karat gold yeah, or platinum. Yeah. Can you imagine making the snake and then just using some 0.4 <sighs> and just wire wrapping them, them just in between here and there? That'd look amazing with the gold. Yes. It's Katie, everybody. It's Katie. It's incredible. Amazing. Yeah, just, just, oh, the scattering just over the gold. Amazing. Beautiful. Mary's there. Well done. Sarah's there. Uh, if you've got this in your shopping baskets, check out. I can't imagine these are going to stick around for long. Uh, a lot of people are multi buying as well. Have we got many left? No, only about 20 chances left. Uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Uh, there's about uh, 14 of you that have got these in baskets. So we are down to less than 20 chances. It's not something we see every day either, is it? No. I mean, no. oh, do you know what? Mermaid jewellery is so, well, oh, it's huge, so popular. Mermaids huge, yeah. right now, right? I mean, imagine this with peacock pearls. We had the peacock pearls yes, earlier. Yes, How gorgeous would amazing. that look? <gasps> Amethyst and peacock pearls and, and this. Wouldn't it? Whimsical. Do you want to make any more noise? <laughs> it's all knotted. Do you want to make any more noise, Ben? Guess for Jamstown. Ah. Uh. <laughs> uh, collector in London Sport 2, another collector Sport 2. They're beautiful. Stunning. I, I want to make some mermaid jewelry now, seeing these. That is the bargain of the night, isn't it? It is the bargain so. of the night. I, w I was expecting these to be at least twenty pounds. It's incredible. Sharon's bought two. Well done. Um, if you've got this in your shopping baskets, you've got to check it out, peeps. Uh, there's loads of you there. Conway, uh, West Midlands, Isle of Wight, Kent, Powers, uh, Gwent, Norfolk, Devon. Um, make sure you are trekking out. Um, and here, right on cue is thank you we've got um oh hello uh, cream colored silver plated wire oh now this is a color that i've no i don't think i've ever seen this before no i think i've seen it once before i've not i've not worked with it it looks amazing it, it does looks like it's almost got like a shatty a, a satin sheen to it it does absolutely <laughs> almost <laughs> just uh, let's just move on and pretend nobody heard that <laughs> You've gone a bit red. Uh, <laughs> gorgeous with them. Uh, yeah, I think this would be lovely. It almost uh, reminds me. <laughs> I can't even talk. It's always my show. Um, designs and you know snowdrops this time of year and daffodils and Easter it's, <laughs> it's two pounds please put us out of our mystery just buy it <laughs> but that's a good deal um point four ten meters two pounds fab color it is a fab color it'd be lovely as well um I think with some of the yes do you know yes, what I mean? That's work. very Eastery and yeah. It's very Eastery, isn't it? Very spring. Be nice with some um, uh, what's the word? Citrine and um, I, I just think I'm just thinking, you know. Um, I don't know. I'll have a, yes, I do have. Oh, do do I have any fluorites? That was the question. The answer is, heck yeah. Oh, I love fluorite. Love fluorite. I know I say this every time I'm here, but when I was in Roswell, um, I was hunting for aliens. <laughs> Have you undone the knot now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, there was a gem shop and I went into the gem shop and thank you um, and they had these little 
booths you could go in and with black lights and you could bring the gemstones in there and they were all oh, they were really cool and obviously fluorite the word fluorescent only exists because of fluorite that's where the name comes from um so when you get this in in uv light sunlight any kind of light and um, you've got that wonderful luminosity and that beautiful glow that fluorescence <laughs> that you've got and, and that's what i love about this and with this fluorite in particular you've got those wonderful kind of sea foam foam <laughs> oh gosh i can't talk sea foam greens um be lovely with the mermaidial colors yeah, that is very mermaid. again very mermaidial um lovely with the amethysts just beautiful um, and um, you've got them all. You've got those beautiful amethyst colours. Um, four pounds and ninety-five pence. Again, it's your welcome. We should have had the welcome pack show, couldn't we? There we go. This is what you get. You get your tools. You get your findings. Um, and you get your uh, tools again. I think uh, we get a DVD in there as well. Do you get a DVD, DVD in there? Yeah, I think so. Fabulous. Some jeweler's elastic. <laughs> lovely. Be lovely with the, uh, again, with the amethyst that we just bought. Yes. Mmm. I'm just doing, I'm just, I'm just putting this up. This, this, there's a kit there. There's a kit yeah, there. Yeah, there's definitely a kit there. Mermaid kit. The mermaid kit. There you go. You should, they should bring me on more often, shouldn't they? I could get... <laughs> Oh, see, I've missed you. Do you know what? They're so mean to me. If you could hear what goes on in my ear. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, next up, let's bring... Now, this. This, this is the last... Um... This is the um, this is the last part of the of the mermaidial kit. I have these. They're amazing. They glow. They're absolutely beautiful. <gasps> Look at this. Look at this. <gasps> Let it glow. Let it glow. That is incredible. Beautiful. I wasn't going to carry on, no. Um, no, no, I'm not going to, I'm not going to sing. Um, but this is, I love Cal Sadney. Um, it's just, again, a, a gemstone that has that incredible luminosity, that glow. It's got that um, magical, mystical, incredible, I don't know, it looks like it's kind of... Um, harnessing some kind of energy like and, and gemstones do have energy obviously everything has energy uh, but just something about calcedony that is just so um i don't know it's ethereal isn't it ethereal yeah. thank you my lovely that's the word i was looking for ethereal um amazing i mean absolutely beautiful and i love these like shards that you've yeah. got yeah it's a great shape isn't it it is so pretty have a look 230 carats again no with all of the other, look at this, this is, there you go, that I should totally be making up kits. <laughs> Brilliant price. That is, oh my gosh, $17.95. Um, and what would you use these for? Because I imagine you could use these really quite sparingly in terms of yeah. getting a good yeah, return you on your maybe, investment. Maybe uh, graduate maybe five of them with just a space in between as a necklace. You could use single drops in earrings. You could do, like we said before, about the tiara. We'll turn them upside down, <gasps> make them into Love tiara. that. Let's yeah. get those. Where are those? We could make... Uh, yes. They'd make, a, they'd make a great team, wouldn't they? They together? would. Team tiara. <laughs> yes. Oh, we've had a message in. Unicorn horns. Yes. Why didn't I think of that? Or, um, can you put it on my screen? Because I'm blind as a bat. I'm sorry. <laughs> Thanks. Um, or, uh, they are gorgeous. Just one on a cord or a chain would be a fab at least £10 each. Yeah. At least £10 each. Absolutely. See, it's one thing when we say it, isn't it? But yeah. when people text in and they, they say it, absolutely. One on a, I would love that on yeah, a cord. You could do kind of briolette wrap, but I'd do it really messy. Like, <gasps> yeah, like a really yes. messy look. 
I like that. And it, it's something, again, if you've got, imagine if you had like suites of jewellery. Say you go to a, a craft fair or you sell your jewellery kind of on a market type, type, type thing and you have where people are coming around. It's, it's gemstones like this that draw people in. Yes. You know, they see that and they're, oh my gosh, what is that? That's incredible. This is like ex what I call excuse me jewellery. Yeah. When you're wearing stuff yeah. like this, people say, excuse me, you know, what is that? Yeah, I'd probably make a real statement piece and have that in the centre of my store, high up as well, get, get some high, elevate it. And, it, you know, it's going to draw people in, like you said. It is. It's amazing, honestly. And look, when you hold it up to the light, you won't be able to see this, sorry, but this is just... <laughs> <laughs> but there's all... Can you see yeah. this, like... It's like, dreamy. Yeah, it's like... It's... There's, like... I don't know. It's like there's something inside, like, trapped inside. It's, it's something from Lord of the Rings or something, isn't yes. it? Yes. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Uh, let's do, oh, oh my gosh, these are really interesting. Oh, I've not seen these before. No, me either. Oh, look at the colours. I know, and then they've, I was looking to see if it was, like, I was trying to figure it out. This is brilliant. Okay, so, these are quite mermaid scaly, aren't they? <laughs> I know they're flowers, <laughs> but the, uh, the iridescence, I'm like, oh, it's like mermaid scales. Um, but you could, couldn't you? You could yeah. make some kind of tail. Um, but these are beautiful. So you've got your flowers with your um, multicolored shell flowers. Uh, you get an approximately um, 18, oh, it's 30, 38 centimeters. That's not approximate, it's the approximate is the other oh, is, uh, and the 18 mil. But they're awesome, they've got like kind I of. I don't think the amount of colour that's in them is coming across on the screen. No, it? it's not. Of different colours in there. <gasps> Black spinel after the break. Oh, okay. Black spinel coming up for you after the break, and I mean, that would be lovely. Just one in the centre of the bracelet. <gasps> yes. Yeah. Oh, I like that. Just that would be lovely and quite simple to do. Absolutely, they're gorgeous. You can't see, but you can, you yeah, know, greens the, yeah. and pinks and pinks golds. <gasps> These are incredible. Get them home, usually 30 day money back guarantee. Right, um, we're gonna have a, a quick break. Um, coming up on the, on the other side, where's the time gone? It's crazy. Coming up for you on the other side of this, we've got more great deals. And then, of course, following that, we are going to have kit number two um, with the Great Gatsby. They'd be good with Great Gatsby as well, the black yes. and the, oh, and the shell. That'd be lovely. Uh, don't go anywhere. We'll see you in two. Buying from Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. When we bring an item to you, all the graphics come on screen. And this gives you all the information that you will need to know. From the item code to the product description with all of the key information. Then the price comes on. And whether you join at the beginning or at the end of the offer, everyone pays the final on screen price. So, when you see an item that you would like to buy, simply pick up the phone and dial our free phone number and you'll get through to our UK-based call centre. Alternatively, you can join us at www.jurymaker.com and start your jury making journey today. Jury Maker, the one-stop shop for all your jury making needs. The Jewellery Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewellery designer. Each week one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account and the runner-up receives £50. If you want to enter your design just send a photo to studio at jewelrymaker.com or you can post your photos to Jewellery Maker Studio, Ivy House, Henley Road, Studley, B80, 7DU and make sure you don't forget your customer number. Get making and good luck. Jewelry maker. Create. Wear. Share. Owning a strand of genuine gemstones is always exciting. 
but being able to use it in your handcrafted jewellery, then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible. Why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order and share that same feeling with your customers? You can also access online authenticity certificates through items you have previously ordered by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Getting started with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. When you spend $4.95 with this, you'll get a free welcome pack which contains everything you need to get started. Including step-by-step -step project cards and a DVD which will give you the chance to be able to create an arrangement of different items of jewellery. You'll also get a manual which will help to familiarise you with all the items you're going to be creating and all the tools you're going to need to do so. Plus you'll also get a free pack of tools. These will be everything you need to get started. Getting started with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier, so why not give it a go today? Getting started with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. When you spend with us £4.95, you will get a free welcome pack. That welcome pack will give you pretty much everything you need to get started. From a manual, which will help you to familiarise yourself with all of the items that you're going to be creating and all of the products that you need, including tools and findings and threads. You'll also get a DVD and step-by-step -step project cards. These cards and the DVD will give you the chance to be able to create a wonderful arrangement of different items of jewellery. Plus, you'll also get a free three pack of tools. These will be everything you need to get started. So, getting started with the Jewellery Maker couldn't be easier. So why not give it a go today? Jewellery Maker, your one-stop shop for all your jewellery making needs. Hello, hello. Welcome back to Jewelry Maker. It's wonderful to have your company. It's awesome to be here. Um, I love it. I come to Jewelry Maker. It's like a day out. I need to get out more, don't I? <laughs> No, but it's fun. Right, here it is. Um, Spinal Beauty Jewellery Project. Um, I absolutely love this. Uh, we bought you something very similar a couple of days ago. It completely sold out. And so, especially for us tonight, um, we have created this for you. Ooh, don't know what that was, but it was feeding back in my ear. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's very nice. It's like, um, anyway, uh, it's coming up for you. We've only got 81. 81, that's all that we've got. So we've been showcasing this all night. Everybody's been messaging in about it, so we're going to bring it to you now. And this is exactly what you are getting. So let's first of all start off with the spinel. So you've got not one, not two, but you have got three strands of beautiful black spinel. It's my favourite gemstone. I own more spinel than anything else. I absolutely adore it. I love that it goes with absolutely every other gemstone. I mean, I love <laughs> black and brown. Maybe it doesn't go with smoky quartz. If you have made black spinel and smoky quartz together, then send us a text message. We're... There you go. I mean... Um, there it is, text uh, JM Studio to 60777 um, and let us know. Um, but going back to the spinel, um, I, I love this layered look as it is with these three different, um, uh, three different uh, shapes and three different sizes. I mean, that is gorgeous. Isn't it stunning? <gasps> I love it. It's amazing. Um, and again, an, an addition to your Great Gatsby kit, which is coming up for you. Um, is it the next hour or are we doing it this hour? Next hour. Okay, perfect. Um, and what I love about Black Spinel as well is look at that piano key luster. The way that the light just dances on the surface of every single one of those facets. You've got that wonderful sparkly brilliance that you've got on the surface here. It is absolutely phenomenal. Uh, the most amazing luster. You get a lot better luster um, with Black Spinel traditionally um, than you do with other black gemstones. It can be really highly polished uh, and it's absolutely stunning. Um, I just want this. Um, I've just 
checked my Facebook and uh, my other half has told me to not come back with any more shiny things. <laughs> That were his, ex his exact words, um, but he's just built me a studio up in the up in my top room. So you know what? There you go. Um, but amazing. So you are getting. Oh, also, I haven't even talked about this. Um, you're also <laughs> getting um, the flex right again. Um, Ten feet of the forty nine flex right. So explain what the 49 means it please 49 strands that are then twisted together to create one strand so <gasps> it's the it's just got amazing strength yes. but it's to say it's got so much strength it's got amazing flexibility it's really fluid feeling so it's going to give your gemstones your jewelry a really high quality feel to them oh i love it already i love it already i need this jason if you're watching um I think he's on a call. Uh, but if you're watching, darling, I would like this. Uh, amazing. So you have got um, 10 feet uh, of the 49-strand uh, nylon-coated stainless steel uh, micro wire. It is beautiful. Um, <laughs> I love it. Do you know, actually, he actually said to me, He's like, you need to choose, go and buy all what you need to buy from, from JM. Otherwise, I'm going to go out and buy it for you and it won't be right. It's like, oh, how lovely is that? So there you go. He's like, yeah, just basically, here's some money, go and buy some things to make some jewellery. I think he just wants me out of the office. And <laughs> just like, so, so we work together, we live together. Like it's, uh, yeah, we live out of each other's pockets. So, so it's a night out for me tonight. It's lovely. <laughs> oh, so uh, no way. Okay, um, flex right. How much would you usually pay, what do you reckon, for a strand of flex right? Um, uh, have you seen I mean, it on its own? I've bought it from, from JM, but I have, I have looked for it. I think it's, it's okay. It can go up to sort of £17.95. Up to about £17, £17 pounds, something like that, £17, £18 pounds for the flex right. Okay. Black Spinel, if you, there's, you know, I'm talking about, there's a, a very high end jewellery uh, designer. Um, she makes bracelets uh, like this. With Black Spinel, I know that they can sell for, you know, cl close to four figures. Uh, sorry, close to three figures. Um, that is beautiful. The whole thing, the Flex Right, the three strands of Black Spinel, $19.95. This is incredible. I want this. <laughs> I'm so excited. This chair bounces as well. Um, this is incredible. What would you do with this? Like, what, what is this kind of screaming to you right now? I'd have so much fun, fun with that. I mean, it's, it's your black gemstones to start with. So it's, to, to start with, it, it's, it would be in my stash. And I'd be using it with my other gemstones, with my pearls, with all my high-end pieces. Yes. With using with, with the flex right, I'd be using my gold-plated sterling silver findings. It's just going to make really high-quality jewellery, isn't it? It is. It really, really is. And I love it. It's, it is the little black dress of your jewellery box as well. It goes with everything. And I obviously wear a lot of black. Um, I don't think anybody at JM has ever seen me in any other colour. <laughs> That's really bad. Um, but I do. I wear a lot of black. And it's so nice to, to have a quality gemstone and to, to, uh, to be able to have a, a quality like this with the black spinel and be able to wear genuine gemstones at the price of costume jewellery. You know, that's the thing. You get to own something and wear something and enjoy something that you could pay more than that for glass or plastic or, oh, you know. Absolutely. Absolutely. Amazing. Um, so, um, yeah, grab this. Get the entire set. Um, with the Flex Right as well, you know, what kind of things w could you make with, with that? I've used it for things like, because I, I popped the, the spinel in between pearls and used it with pearls. So if you're not confident enough to do the knotting, it's going to almost give you that fluidity that a knotting gives you. Not exactly, because it's not going to get that, that drop that you get with, with knotting. But that's what I would use if I wasn't going to, going to knot something like that, because it gives you that really... It's really hard to describe. It is like a fluidity to your jewellery. Yeah. It, it makes it feel expensive. I'm, I mean, I'm just giving it a bit of a stroke. <laughs> it's a bit weird. But um, it does. It's like silk. Yeah. It's like fabric. Yeah. It you feels know? totally... If you've only ever used just your, your basic beaded thread, when you take it off, off the reel, it is like, wow, this is so different. It is. It's got a real kind of like silk finish to it. It's beautiful. Ooh. There we go, gorgeous. Um, yeah, add it, get it in your collection, add it to your stash if you've never used it before. Great way uh, you know, to try us out. Um, 
amazing. And, you know, as Katie said, you, you, elsewhere you could pay, you know, over, you know, 10, 15 pounds for, for just this elsewhere, let alone black spinel, completely 100% natural. I love it. Um, you know, it has the same crystal structure as a, as a diamond. It's got that cubic crystal structure. You've got that wonderful luster on the surface there that can be highly polished, as you can see. Um, I know I say this every time I'm here, uh, but um, I've got a parve black spinel um, bangle um, in silver it's all parve set and these little stone th these little ones remind me of it and I was wearing it and uh, at my mom and dad's house and my dad said what is that you're wearing and I said it's black spinel and he said oh, okay and what's the white gemstones because from a distance it looked like I'm sorry I was, um, I was so excited I was always drooling then um, from a distance it looks like, look, I mean, look at that. Just a, a double strand bracelet like that. That is just red carpet Such ready. Bargain, it? Such a bargain, this strand. Uh, this, I mean, this kit. Well, it's like a little mini kit, isn't it? Beautiful. 1995. Who have we got on the phone line? Shall we have a nosy? Loads of you. <laughs> Absolutely. Gorgeous. Um, wow, wow, wow. At 1995. I love it. And this... Oh, we're moving on. Right, next up... This, I was just about to say that. Great minds. Great minds. Me and producer Becky. On it. This would, this would be lovely with the kit that we just bought with the black spin out. These pearls are beautiful. Again, it's very great Gatsby again, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's like, all going to go with the second kit too, isn't it? All going to go with the second kit. Phenomenal. So you've got your uh, white uh, freshwater cultured potato pearls, uh, 10 by 11 mil. These are sizable. Huge. They are, aren't they? Some of the biggest uh, pearls that I've seen, you know, other than when you see the big kind of shell pearls, but in terms of, you know, non-shell pearls, <laughs> um, they're, they're huge. Absolutely. You've got wonderful silvers coming through, uh, beautiful, um, uh, almost a, a, a kind of champagne colour, moments of uh, lavenders coming through there as well that you can see with that wonderful pearlescence on the surface there. Um, they are phenomenal. One of these in a sterling silver pendant on a chain in a jewellery store, you know, 40 quid, 50 quid yeah, every day of the week. And you're getting the whole strand for a £10 note. That's amazing. Um, I know. I'm so passionate about it. it it's like, uh, it's almost like we devalue. We don't because we want to give you great deals. And if we get a good deal, you get a good deal. But, you know, people that watch maybe for the first time, I remember when I came from working and representing brands like Cartier and David German, big watch brands. Um, and then I, I went to work in, in shopping TV and I was like, I went to the C, the first channel that I worked on, I went to the CEO's office and I'm like, I knocked on the door and I'm like, do you know what? You could put the price up. You could put the price up 20 pounds, 30 pounds on every single piece. And, um, <laughs> and, um, and people would still pay it because you're still you know, in a lot of cases, three figures cheaper than what you could pay for things on the high street. It's crazy. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm lost for words. It's 9.95 anyway. Um, yes, well done. <laughs> oh dear, we should make a JM Talkback CD. Um, no, where are we going now, sorry? Ah, oh, now this, um, I, wow. These are, we, we've seen a lot of pastels, we've seen a lot of bright colours. I love how you've got these wonderful kind of organic, earthy, um, more kind of... Uh, natural colors 
I would say they are quite primal colours. Um, this is your Ocean Jasper. I love Ocean Jasper. It's amazing. Um, I love the colours that you get from this. Uh, you've got, of course, your mustard yellows. Uh, you've got those beautiful, deep, stormy blues that you've got there. Uh, burnt oranges, wonderful kind of uh, neutral uh, hues with your uh, chocolates and those wonderful, uh, almost um, bronze colours coming through it's like it's so earthy and so just uh, organic and uh, you know a lot of people don't like you know colorful stuff i mean you know a lot of people like things that are more muted yeah, and it makes it a little bit more wearable doesn't it it does you know, if, you, if you're that sort of person that prefers sort of a, a more natural palette yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And, and the thing is, something like a, a strand like this with this kind of colour palette, you know, if you're wearing, I don't know, a pair of jeans and you've got, I don't know, a big chunky tan belt or, you know, some brown boots on, some tan boots at this time of year, uh, you know, these kind of colours, lovely in a, in a bracelet. I think these would be a really lovely stretchy. It's the welcome pack price again. At four pounds and ninety-five pence, a five-pound note. Again, add it to your order. Add it to your order today. These are lovely. Uh, be lovely with some smoky quartz. Be lovely with um, uh, some of the um, the big kind of chunky agates that we see yeah, as well. The mukite that we do. That mukite, well. yes, I love it. Just uh, just putting this out there. Yes. Do you like that? Yes, that works. Love that. Gorgeous. Um, yeah, absolutely. Tiger's eye. You know, some of the tiger's eye that we've had. Yes. That'd be lovely with it as well. I'm like, I'm thinking right now, in my head, I've got mukite and tiger's eye and smoky quartz and... Is that a thing? I've never seen Mocha Moonstone. Yeah, I've seen it. Ah, I've Absolutely. never seen it. Mocha Moonstone. Sounds like a rapper. <laughs> <laughs> Gorgeous. Um, I, I think this is absolutely beautiful. But also as well, some of our natural um, sapphires, you know, that have that really kind of earthy feel yeah. to them. Some of the deeper colours. Because you've got blues that are coming through these greys. And the yellows that we had earlier in that, in that strand, this, this one here. Yes. Yeah, Ruby's coming through this. I'd love that. Rubies and the, the yellow sapphires. Yeah, that's a great a great idea. I'm just having a look and see what we got. Oh. Um, amber. Oh, that would be nice. Shall we shall I just show you this? This is very, very earthy. Uh, the amber's coming up now, is it? Should we do the amber? Um, where did this one go? Oh, okay. Right. Um, I love this. I love amber. And certainly a strand like this, for me, this is just re-thread it and you could wear it. I mean, it's incredible. Uh, take a look. So you have got your beautiful, natural Baltic amber. It's so light. And that's what I love about amber. It floats. Um, it's super light. Um, you've got the honeys. You've got the cherries. You've got those caramel colors coming through. Um, you've got the, I mean, the champagne colors. It's absolutely stunning. I love the, the opac uh, opaqueness that you've got here through to um, the wonderful, beautiful, glow that you get um, from some of the honey colors that are coming through to the richness that you have from the cherry which is the you know the most considered of all of the amber uh, for me this is absolutely stunning it really is beautiful um, and is that all we got four you got to be quick last four chances um, and genuine natural amber. Um, I was in the Baltic two years ago representing an Alexandrite brand out there in, in the Baltic and um, literally the price of amber, I couldn't believe it, where it actually comes from. I was in Russia, took us to an amber shop, plied us with vodka at nine o'clock in the morning. Ah, buy everything in the store. I was like, oh, I'll just have everything. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's good. Um, it's my, my kind of tour. Uh, £22,095. There is an incredible um, value, a perceived value associated with amber. People know that it's considered. And when you're owning something that no longer exists, you're owning a snapshot of life, you know, 50, 60 million years ago. It's just incredible to have every single one of these stones telling a different story. Um, and it's great, you know, really good for earrings as well because they're so lightweight. I'm not a big fan of the low blugger. I mean, sometimes I'll suck it up if they're pretty, but I'm not a big, big fan of the low blugger. They do get that really lightweight feel. And you get shops that are like boutique shops that are solely amber. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so, you know, it's, it's a really exquisite gemstone. It really is. It really is. And people understand that and they know the value as well. It's amazing. I've got kind of amber hair. My hair is similar to this strand, isn't it? Okay. It is. Like an African sunset. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> it is beautiful. Last one uh, at 22 uh, 95 They're lovely. I really like this. I think it's just gorgeous. I'd get a couple of these. Absolutely. It's, you wouldn't get seven because there's only one left. Ben. Okay. Perfect. Uh, right. Next up. Let's do <gasps> need. It's my favourite. It's my favourite squeaky chair. Um, and some of these are absolutely huge. Um, it's my birthstone. It's one of my favourites. Stop making me laugh. I'm supposed to be a serious TV presenter. And um, there's lots of noises going on in my... They're, they're, they're making fun of my squeaky chair. They're saying that it's something else, and it's not. It's my squeaky chair. I don't do things like that, especially not on the television. Uh, anyway, let's get back to the Tanzanite. Um, you've got 55 carats of a gemstone uh, that is absolutely becoming more and more and more and more and more desirable, uh, more collectible, more well-known, more widely known. I mean, when I first started working with Tanzanite, oh gosh, um, well, a, a decade ago, um, you know, it was a gemstone, wow, well, it was over a decade ago now, um, it was a gemstone that I was working in the States and, and out of America, and it was a gemstone that was becoming very popular over there, but in the UK it wasn't as well known, and now, you know, a decade later, everybody's talking about Tanzanite. Um, you know, I'm not going to, um, you know, stand here and say, or sit here and say, oh, it's, it's going to run out in the next five years, ten years. You know, people have been saying that for the last kind of 20 years, and I'll always be um, transparent with you, uh, always. However, I was at the Tanzanite mine in 2013, 14? Uh, yeah, I was at the Tanzanite mine then, and we saw nothing. We saw nothing, absolutely, apart from at the Tanzanite market, which was a street with some guys with a few Tanzanites in their pocket. I saw a few fake ones. It was weird. Um, but, yeah, we saw nothing. And usually, I mean, when, um, you know, people have been at the mine before, these guys with socks full of Tanzanite, this time they had socks full of pyrite, and that was, you know, four or five years ago. So um, it, was, it was crazy. So, you know, to be there firsthand, and to be at um, Monet's mine, um, and well, they, they, the thing is, they're, they're digging under. They're going. They've gone down to, to 800 meters, obviously. And they're going even lower, but it, the mining costs, in terms of what is coming out of the mine, is just it's not economically viable. And we were at a guy's mine called Monet, and nothing had come out of his mine in, since December 2012, uh, which was crazy. Uh, you know, we were, we were there, and the guys are down there for days. It's really peculiar. It's, it's amazing, like the, the whole how it's how it's mined and everything. Um, 
but um, it was crazy. And I stood on this like hill, um, and it was like, oh my gosh, this could have been exactly where like Manuel de Souza like stood when he first discovered it. It was crazy, amazing for a gemstone lover like me. It was like it was like going to Mecca. It was incredible. So um, yeah, the, there is less of it coming out of the mine. We know that as a fact. Um, you know, there's obviously going to be stuff circulating because you've, you've got the jet lag effect within the industry. Um, but um, what is so, so exciting is that, you know, this is a generational stone. When you think about the history related to like emeralds and rubies and sapphires, finding a generational stone, something that was mined, discovered mined, and could be all mined out within one generation, I mean, that's incredible. We're like, we're alive, you know, in the Tanzanite time, and that's incredible. You know, years from now, um, I've seen David Bowie, yeah, I saw him uh, at the Phoenix Festival in 1997, I think. Um, that's, that's ridiculous. And I know some of you are just holding on to these. I know some of you are getting strands like this and just holding on to them. Uh, incredible. But again, in terms of you know, selling your jewellery and perceived value, people are becoming more and more aware of Tanzanite. And people know how much you can pay for that elsewhere. And people even see how much you can pay for that on other shopping channels and things like that. Um, so to be able to just add a couple of these sparingly into, into a piece, uh, and be able to sell it for the price on the screen right now, you know, people would expect that from a gemstone like Tanzanite. And, and some of these are sizable. I mean, that one in the center there, you're looking at eight by five mil. I mean, it's huge. Sorry, I haven't let you add a word in there, Katie. I was just I'm like, just on one. But it's absolutely beautiful. Colors yeah. spot on, isn't it? It is. And they're all perfectly color matched as well. Yeah, it's beautiful. It is. And, and that is the number one value factor when it comes to Tanzanite is color. Like, that is the number one value factor, is having that colour. It is exquisite, beautiful. It's stunning. I like it with black spinel as well. I love... Gorgeous. Oh, yes! 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 Right. Uh, we are going to do... <laughs> uh, we are going to do is this a star buy we're going to do uh, I, I, I like this a lot um, we're going to do some I, I like wheels for you right now I'm going to tell you all about I like it's fantastic and it's coming up for you right now Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. That sounds like a Muppet then. <laughs> um, oh my gosh, this is... Um, this is gorgeous. I love Iolite. Um, it's an incredible gemstone. It has amazing history. Um, it has, you know, also known as a water sapphire. And when you see it, you understand why. This particular strand, though, is incredible because you've got these wheels, but uh, they've all been faceted um, with almost like a harlequin facet. Almost like a harlequin facet that you've got here. Like a Harley Quinn facet that you've got, very similar, um, on these wheels, they're beautiful. And you've got some, and I'm just going to move it away from my hand so you can see. Some of these have got um, wonderful kind of muted silvers and greys coming through. Some have got um, a, a wonderful um, sapphire blues. Uh, they're incredible. Moments of clarity in some, opaqueness in others. Um, I love the, sh I just love the shape. It's like so tactile. Yeah, and I would just keep them together like that because I think they look amazing together like that. I do. And just a bracelet. <gasps> I love that idea. That's incredible. And I like just like steeped in history. Like, again, if you're a bit of a nerd like me, um, you know, the Vikings. The Vikings use I like a lot. They would use it as a polarizing filter to navigate. And you've probably heard this before, but I could tell you again. Um, so if it was a cloudy day, 
um, they would get a slab, a slice of eyelight, and they'd hold it up to the, the clouds, and it would, they'd be able to see where the sun was. It would polarize, and so they'd see the sun, so they could navigate through the waters. But also, it's hugely, massively pleochroic. So you see different colors from different angles. And when you're wearing this, that's exactly what you're going to see. You're going to see silvers and, and beautiful blues and violets coming through. But they would also use it to navigate. So it would have a piece of eyelight on the boat, and it would be purple. And if they steered off course, it would go blue, and then they'd know that they they knowed uh, that they gone up. They know they did. <laughs> um, they're gone, they're going the, they were going the wrong way. I mean, amazing. Um, it's a gemstone that has been um, used, um, uh, you know, a lot of times they call it the water sapphire. So sometimes it has been used, uh, and I'll be honest, I used to work, uh, I worked in Mexico for many years, and I used to get, um, I was a personal shopping consultant, and people used to come back to me and go, oh, just bought this amazing tanzanite, and I'd look at it, and I'd be like, oh, no. Uh, and they'd say, oh, I, 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 uh, how much did you pay for it? They're like, oh, I'll pay 50 pounds. I'm like, oh, do you like it? And they're like, yeah, I'm like, ah, oh, awesome. <laughs> but no, that, like, because it, it it, very similar looking to tanzanite, very similar looking to sapphires as well, uh, but much more affordable. So if you love this, what? That is incredible. Um, and with this faceting that you've got here, it's almost like snake-like as well. Yes, it's got yes, it is. scales. Think, even if you, were, if you were to even just use maybe three or five, it could transfer to gems jewellery as well. Yes. Yes, yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's quite it's faceted, unisex. But it's not sparkly, sparkly faceted. So... I definitely think you could use it in gents. I like that. Do you know what else I like? I'm looking at your Viking knit over there that you did with the snake. Yeah. And I'm thinking how you might be able to incorporate Viking knit, Viking jewellery. You could totally, like, market it to... Yeah, you can pop it inside cause it, because the Viking knit is like a tube. You yeah. can pop it in, inside the Viking knit and then you'll get little flashes of it from inside. Oh, that'd be cool. That'd be really cool. There we go. And, you know, it just like there's, you know, famous uh, TV shows at the moment that have got a really big following, Vikings got a really big following as yes. well. You could yes. kind of, um, you know, market your jewellery around, around certain TV shows. <laughs> I thought, uh, awesome. There we go. Um, Oh, these are fabulous. They're like calla lilies. I love these. These are your tiger's eye leaves. Yes, it is. It's the one you were trying to unravel earlier, Ben. Um, did anybody guess the gemstone just by the sound? Um, I think these are fabulous. And what I would like to do with these is, uh, they're lovely little leaves, but I think these would be lovely with a little, uh, just a little pearl yes. in the centre there, don't you think? They're lovely. Gorgeous. They are, aren't they? Well, they're, they're marketed as, as leaves, but I think they look like calla lilies. Yeah, I'd say calla lilies. You could put, could you put as well, like, um, use a head pin and have like a t couple of little tiny pearls, almost like a stamen yeah, yeah. type you thing. Yeah, featherweight head pins, you could probably get maybe three in, in there. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and then just use it just as, just as a single pendant or within a wire work piece. Or, <laughs> I'm so getting into this, or could you have it like a, just as a, as a pin, like as a, a brooch, yeah. like, or maybe in a hat or something yeah, like or that? In a hat would be amazing, wouldn't it? Do you like that? Yeah. I'll be here all week. Well, I won't actually. And at £8.95, you may as well try. I mean, you could make, again, going back to what you said about having multiple pieces that are the same but different, uh, you know, you've got. All of these, how many is on the strand roughly? I know there's one missing because Ben stole it. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. There's going to be roughly about twelve of these. You could make twelve brooches or pins and have, uh, you know, three, three stamen coming through featherweight yeah. head pins with little tiny pearls on the end or little gems. So getting into this. <laughs> it's great, isn't it? Oh, no, it's all twisted together. Uh, no, 8.95. They're, that's amazing value. And when you think about the human element as well, involved in kind of carving these yes. from one single piece of, of tiger's eye, it's incredible. Look at the chatoyancy. I know, I, I know where the, the word chatoyancy comes from. I'm not going to say it on air, though. We've already said that once tonight. Um, right, next up... <gasps> uh, 
Right, next up, we have got 40 carats of Boulder Opal. <gasps> I love Boulder Opal. I've never seen it like this. I've never seen it with this kind of white banding before. This is lovely. It is, isn't it? I love that you, it's like a snow scene. I think this, it is very fitting for snow day, isn't it? Um, you've got wonderful moments of translucency, the opaqueness that you've got there, the glow. I love the banding that you've got in some of these. Um, you know, I always think when you see, um, um, I can't remember, <laughs> um, but um, you've got beautiful, oh dendrite, there you go, it would go lovely with dendrite, you know, with the snow scene, and then you've got this almost like a snow scene that you've got here oh, as well, yeah. that would be lovely. Yeah, that'd look amazing, wouldn't it? But with it being white as well, what's really awesome is, you know, sometimes you do need that contrast, either black or white, to kind of make your colours pop within your pieces, right? Absolutely, absolutely. I quite like this as maybe uh, a beach wedding jewellery. Beach wedding. Yeah. I love that. It's got that feel to it, hasn't yeah. it? That kind of like washed up river rock yeah, and it's natural, isn't it? And yeah. Glass, you know, when you find glass on the beach and kind of pebbles and shells and stones, it's got that real. I like that. We've had a message in. <laughs> Say what price? I know, right? Absolutely incredible. Five pounds and 95 pence for Boulder Opal. Crazy. Crazy, like a fish. It's incredible. Yes. Uh, I do. I think it, and it's got, you know, in, the, you see, I don't know, I'm, I'm thinking now with shells and the kind of... Yeah, maybe cashew pearls or something like that. Yes. Kind of texture to it. Oh, yes. That's lovely. Beach wedding. My friend's getting married in, on a beach this year. There we go, maybe I should make her some jewellery. Gorgeous. 40 carats of Boulder Opal. And you know what's really nice as well? With this being like October's birthstone, some people, I don't understand it myself because it's probably one of my favourite gemstones, but some people don't like traditional opal. So to have something like this, you know, when we see some of the, um, the pastel, the blue opals, you know, anything, the Peruvian opals or something like this, it's nice to be able to offer that as birthstone jewellery without you know having yeah. to spend a fortune but also without having that play of color that some people don't don't like fab okay let's do uh ah uh, oh, they're right there um thank you my lovely there's right now that's five pendants to me yes. or yeah but nice statement necklace yeah, as, as well one piece they would look amazing too <gasps> wouldn't they love these um beautiful so uh we've got 70 carats in your um your uh, dog tooth amethyst uh layout bars i love the dog tooth amethyst one of my favorites just got again it's got that real organic feel to it when you see the light behind this as well the colors that the, that come through and the moments of um kind of uh unusual i don't know kind of textures within the stone as well right we're going to take these to the lowest ever price this is going to be like how many people are watching kind of kind of auction 3.95 3.95 that center stone is absolutely huge it is. I mean, that, that in itself is absolutely huge. And it, it, again, quite unisex as well. A couple yeah, of my unisex. friends, you know, who are guys would, would wear that on a leather cord or something, yeah. you know? Even the smaller ones, even the medium sized ones, there's a ring. <gasps> yes. Yeah. That's amazing. Like that as a ring. Lovely. It does. I like that. With wire, yeah, maybe just just like a, a really organic wire wrap around it. Mm. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> uh, Three pounds ninety five pence. That's incredible. Amazing. 
I love the colour. And we've had so many different other amethysts tonight that you could mix and match, you yeah, know. Yeah, we've definitely given you lots and lots of things to pop together and all in different shapes and things. So mm. I'd, love, I'd love to get a kit like that with just lots and lots of different shapes load of wire and just see what, what I could create. Great. There we go. Uh, lots of people are multi-buying, uh, so if that's you, awesome work. Um, it is 1 p.m.p. of course until midnight tonight. Um, so take advantage and at £3.95 today it's it's really incredible. Um, also, are they going to sell out? They're going to sell out. We only had 33. Um, you could also as well, I'm really interested in making like home decor and stuff, like around a glass tea light holder or something then imagine yeah. like the light coming through from a candle and how that would kind of like glow yeah yeah that's look amazing or even hung as like kind of a, a window mobile yes so the light can all shine through it all at different levels that'd be nice well into that well into that right uh next up oh uh the black spinel <gasps> coated black spinel oh this is awesome are you ready are you ready <laughs> Look at this. This is really lengthy. Um, you've got a meat. Oh no, 96 centimeters. Why do we do that? 96 centimeters. Um, <laughs> almost a meter of your uh, 150 carat uh, black, uh, coated black spinal. I'll point out the typo before somebody sends us a text message in. <laughs> Um, incredible. Um, what I love with the coated, I mean, look, it's got that kind of like a, this could be quite unisex as well. It's got that kind of like hematite yes, feel yeah, to it. Yeah, it's got that, that it's that metallicness, isn't it? It's, mm. it's beautiful. It's my favourite of the coated black spinels that we do. Yeah, it's beautiful. Really lovely. And you're getting an entire metre. I mean, that is, look at that. Imagine that between the peacock pearls. <gasps> yes. Yes. Yeah. I will imagine that right now in between peacock pearls. That would be phenomenal. Just seeing if we've got any. No, but gorgeous. Um, or any of the... Um, again, it would be lovely with some of the amethysts that we've had as yeah, well. The, or uh, the lapis, I yeah. was just. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you said Great that mind. just as I was picking that up. I mean, wow. Phenomenal. Uh, but I, I kind of like it on its own as well. I'm thinking of this right now. You could have a kind of... Um, or this lariat like yeah. necklace that you could have, um, or really long kind of um, with a knot like a, or yeah, something like a, knot, a knotted. Knot it, but I'd definitely go for just lots, and lots, lots of bracelets. bracelets. Yeah. I'd buy a couple, and then I'm just. Yeah, you could, you could literally just tie you that. You could, knot. you and could. The tassels are so in at the moment. They are, aren't they? Yeah, That's I recommend I'm... restranding it, but actually restranding it and popping the tassels back on would be amazing. Exactly, that would be so cool. Very, very cool with the tassels on. Um, or like, um, I don't know, some kind of silver Yeah, or you could make some bead. seed beads, a little or pair something. of tube to wrap around it. Yeah, I like that. I like that. I do. I like it a lot. I'd get a couple of these, matching bracelet, big wraparound bracelet. Mmm. Layered. Oh, I love it. It's very, um, and it is very kind of like red carpet ready as yes, well, isn't it? Absolutely. You know, part A. Yes. <laughs> there we go. What kind of party? Like a carnival party. I'm not going to shoot me like that in this tub. Could be, <laughs> could be disastrous. <laughs> I'll do it sideways. <laughs> no, I'm not going to do that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> That's lovely, isn't it? Oh, it's all it all gets a bit messy at this time of night. <laughs> um <laughs> There's a there's a <laughs> there's a YouTube channel, isn't there? Shall we do? Shall we? Shall we do a, a star by with the red? The, 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 the. Let's let's do. Let, let's let's. Do, this is brand new. So I tell you what. Let's do an impromptu star by on the red cow Sadney coming up now. Oh, 
welcome, 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 welcome. Um, <laughs> I haven't, I don't think, I can't remember the last time I saw Red Cow Sunny. We just don't see it very often. You can't remember ever seeing it. Oh, wow, this is amazing. Look at the glow. It's incredible. It's like it's, it's got fire. It's, it's like glowing from within and then it's, do you know what it reminds me of? You know, when you, it's like glowing embers, you know, and you've like had a barbecue or a fire or something and then you've got that kind, and it's almost like it's pulsating, yeah. you know, it's, it's that doing that kind of, do you know what I mean? But it does. Do you understand? You know what I mean watching, don't you? Everybody watching at home is like, yeah, we know what you mean, Emma. Um, true story. It does. It's like glowing embers. Absolutely. And it's got that kind of, like, that roiling effect. Do you know what it, like Hessonite? You know, Hessonite garnet has got that kind of yeah. roiling effect. You know, when you look at something that's giving off heat and maybe looking at the horizon, <laughs> Matt it again, so animated. Uh, you look at the horizon and you've got like the, the, the heat coming from the horizon, everything's kind of distorted, you know, and you've got that kind of like, it's just it's hot, isn't it? It is, it is. It's like fiery, like my hair. Um, we have got, I mean, these are huge. I'm just going to throw it over to you, Kay, because I'm, um, yeah. What, what would you do with these? Uh, the, the chunky gemstones are really big at the moment on the cat box and things like that. So I'd probably go with, I know it's a little bit controversial, but big earrings. Mm. Yeah. Yes. Like the really big chunky earrings. Maybe buy two strands and make a necklace to match the sort of longer necklace lines where it's just the gemstones at the front there. Yeah. Amazing. And for ten pounds, nine ninety five. We just don't see red cow suddenly very often. That. Everybody's multi buying. Everybody's multi buying. They're lovely. And what other, what other gemstones would you pair that with? Uh, I'd probably actually go with the black spinel. Mm. Like the black and the red. It's the theme of the night, isn't it? Yeah. Black Spinel. Or even the Ocean Jasper that we had earlier. Well, we did that, didn't we? Just throwing this out there. I like it. I like it. Hmm. Just, just throwing it out there. Um, yeah, the Ocean Jasper would be lovely with it as well. Gorgeous. The, the glow that you've got from this is incredible. Um, you could put it with smoky quartz, Ben. Absolutely. I quite like it with the, the lapis. See, I would never have thought that to put lapis anywhere near this. But how well does this work? Amazing. Doesn't it? Oh, I love that. Oh, yes. But I actually, I would like this on a really long length of chain yeah. and just like yeah just stations. a little bit spaced out with maybe little sections of chain in between yeah yeah, yeah i'd love that i'd love that it's totally that would be my kind of thing absolutely you could make a big ring they're really really popular aren't they you could make a big ring with yes, it absolutely you could wrap it and all kinds of goodness awesome perfect love that so We've got, oh, the, the, is this the last of the black spinel? <gasps> Look at this. So sparkly. I know, right? Wow. Can you? Look at that. Look at the hat. Holy guacamole. That is sparkle-tastic. Oh, I like that. There we go. <gasps> I think this is probably some of the best faceted that we've seen. Absolutely. The quality here is Outstanding, absolutely beautiful. Look at this. Oh, I mean, just I just phew, just stare at it. <laughs> Be lovely, really lovely. And just as a simple bracelet, I would love this. Um, I, I mean, just, just stacked up on a head pin, just a long drop of them. That'd be gorgeous. Oh, I like that. I love like stiletto drop yeah. earrings and with that movement as well. And guess what? 20 carats of black spinel, 30 centimetre strand, guaranteed under 10 pounds. 
uh, multi-buy on this for this particular quality and we've seen black spinel tonight um, I, I've got to say hand on heart the quality that you've got here the quality of the faceting and the polish that you've got on this is is just outstanding absolutely amazing love it 10 pounds oh, I've not done any labradorite all night Oh, not long. Let's do some. Let's do some. <laughs> oh, beautiful. It's my favourite daytime gemstone. I love Labradorite. Um, why do I love it? Because everybody stops you and asks you what it is. It's intriguing. Um, it's just got that wonderful, obviously, that wonderful natural phenomenon. Um, and I just absolutely love it. I love it. Oh, look at this. Yeah, so many people love this as their favourite gemstone. I mean, they really, really do. It's just in incredible. It reminds me of, like, butterfly wings as well. Yes. It does. Yeah, it's my favourite gemstone. I always think it, it makes me think that there's fairies trapped inside. I like that. Beautiful. Little like fairies little, trapped yeah. inside. Well, you know that you know that the original, like when the Inuits found discovered this in in in, in thanks in Labrador in Canada, and the the local people, the Inuits, the um, what's the word, native people, um, thought I think that's not politically correct. Um, they thought that. Um, the northern, when they saw the aurora borealis, they believed that that was their ancestors and they'd gone up into the sky and when they saw the aurora borealis, it was their ancestors. So when they first discovered this gemstone, they thought the aurora borealis was trapped inside the gemstone and they actually sm would smash it open to try and release their ancestors back up to the sky again. It's so cool. So not fa so fairies. There's nothing, yeah, it could have fairies yeah. in it. It could. It could. They're inc incredible. So beautiful. Oh, I think these are gorgeous. And you've got that beautiful graduation, lovely shapes. Everyone is unique and different. Some have got those wonderful gold, some have got beautiful turquoises, some have got those really deep, rich blues and silvers coming through. £6.95. You couldn't go into a, a, a store that sells loose gemstones, uh, like just like worry stone type yeah. things and you couldn't buy one labradorite of that caliber in one of those stores for six pounds and 95 no that way. haven't been drilled and then you go somewhere and they like make a big deal out of it because it's been drilled it's like oh my gosh and they'll charge an extra whatever 6.95 great gemstone as well if you, you you're just starting out and you want to because you get your kit <laughs> You're welcome back, £6.95. Or even if you wanted to start out with wire work, it, you've got that drill hole then, you can use that as a cabochon. And the drill hole's just going to give you that extra security while you're working. That's fantastic. Great tip. I love mm -hmm. that. I love that. Perfect. Right. This is incredible. Topaz. White microfaceted topaz. This is this is so so sparkly. The the quality of this. Look at that. Look at it up close and personal. Look how close we are right now. Look at that micro faceting. And then look at the reflection that you can see there um, on, on the bottom and all of the sparkle that you've got there and those little rainbows that are coming through as well. That was outstanding, outstanding. Every single one of these gemstones has been cut by hand. Every single one of those facets has been cut by hand. So when you think of the human element that is involved in this, it's really something quite outstanding. Absolutely. Absolutely. I, again, I'm just going back to the microfaceted black spinel that we had and looking at these together, it's like... That is brilliant. And it's yours today, under £10 for that calibre. Wow. Beautiful. What would you do with these, Katie? I'd probably use them with the black spinel. Maybe make a three strand bracelet with the just black, the white topaz, and then the black. Beautiful. 
I like that. Yeah. That'd be lovely. Really simple, but really classy. Absolutely. Beautiful. Um, and for a £10 note today, you may, may as well, hadn't you? You may as well. I love asking you, what, what, what would Katie do? What, <laughs> what did Katie do? What did Katie do next? <laughs> I've never heard that before. Have you not? <laughs> <laughs> Have I? <laughs> Did you send that, Ben? <laughs> Oh, oh! Thank you to the uh, anonymous uh, message that somebody's just sent through. Um, I'm not going to put it on screen, <laughs> but um, yes, thank you very much. Did you nearly put it on screen? We we do get some uh, interesting messages that come in. <laughs> oh. Love it with the black spinel. I love that idea. I want to just make that as a bracelet now. Totally. Perfect. Okay, awesome. So, um, where we go next? Ooh. Is this, this is Ray's favourite, isn't it? I, I think this is gorgeous um, I, I, and I don't think that I have seen uh, multicolored tourmaline with this clarity before. Have a look at this um, and you've got all of the colours. It's like an English country garden in a strand of beautiful jewellery uh, gemstones. Have a look. So um, you have got 32 carats. Look at the clarity. It's amazing. Sounds like Gareth then. Um, absolutely incredible. Um, where's this from? It's African. It's gorgeous. So you have got... Um, I'm just going to show you some of the colours. You, oh, yes. Look at the clarity. Little droplets of beautiful colour. Completely 100% natural. So you've got your um, beautiful pink tourmalines to your... Um, to your incredible uh, rubellites that you've got there. You've got dravites. Look at that peach colour. I don't think I've ever seen that in tourmaline. I mean, it is the, the most rainbow of all of the gemstones. Um, but, <laughs> it's not even English, is it? Um, you've got beautiful um, uh, indicolites coming through there. With the, uh, with the blues. You've got Paraba-esque colours coming through. I mean, look how brilliant and bright that blue is there. I'm gone. There we go. Look at that. It is like a lagoon. It's an, in, it's an incredible indicolite lagoon. It is. You've got, look at the golds coming through there. This is incredible. $39.99. Absolutely. It is just like, like you said about the flowers. It's like a wildflowers, isn't it? Like it is. Of wildflowers. And the clarity is stunning. It is. I don't think I've ever seen clarity like this on, on tourmaline here. It's absolutely beautiful. Not, you know, single gemstones like this. Um, you know, if it's been set into 18 karat gold or it's in a, in a set piece of jewellery, absolutely. But to be able to get a strand with this clarity, just gorgeous. Love it. 39.99. There's purples in there as well. Blooming egg. I know, gorgeous um, greens and mm, I love it. Oh, do you know what we've got coming up for you after the break? Sorry, I'm looking at the wrong screen. Uh, <laughs> um, coming up for you after the day, after the, oh, what is wrong with me? <laughs> oh no. Um, we've got coming, oh, these are incredible. They're like pebbles of, of um, turquoise. Yeah, thanks. Um, we've got, these are coming up. This is the deal of the day. Oh, hello. Look at the matrix in those. Look at the... They're amazing. I love the... Amazing. Somebody wrote me up for that, you know. 
they put it on the internet. They say Emma's supposed to be well travelled and the jewellery expert, and she can't. She doesn't finish off a word. She says amazing instead of amazing. She sounds like she's selling sprouts on the bull ring market. <laughs> Cool, I've had worse. Um, <laughs> you got you, you 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 if you don't have haters, if you don't have haters, you know. Are you even a TV presenter? Anyway, right, uh, coming up for you. Uh, on the other side of this, uh, we've got the deal of the day. It's the last hour. We've got the last kit. Uh, Great Gatsby. I might do a bit of Charleston. It could all happen, you know. It's coming up on the other side of this. Don't go anywhere. We'll see you in two. Order from us today at www.jewelrymaker.com. Getting started with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. When you spend $4.95 with us, you'll get a free welcome pack which contains everything you need to get started, including step by step project cards and a DVD which will give you the chance to be able to create an arrangement of different items of jewelry. You'll also get a manual, which will help to familiarise you with all the items you're going to be creating and all the tools you're going to need to do so. Plus, you'll also get a free pack of tools. These will be everything you need to get started. Getting started with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier, so why not give it a go today? If you'd like more information on up-and-coming shows, you can view the programme guide on our website. you need a helping hand to get started with Jewelry Maker? Are you stuck for ideas and need inspiration? Then visit our Jewelry Maker website where you can find our video tutorials. Expand your knowledge and skills with these easy to follow jewelry making demonstrations. Whether you're a beginner, hobbyist or business owner, there's always something new to learn. It couldn't be easier. Simply click and learn some new jewelry making techniques. The Jewellery Maker phone is free from a UK landline, so call us today to place your order. The Jewellery Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewellery designer. Each week one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account, and the runner-up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewellerymaker.com. Or you can post your photos to Jewelry Maker Studio, Ivy House, Henley Road, Studley, B80, 7DU. And make sure you don't forget your customer number. Get making and good luck. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. You can now book Jewelry Maker workshops online. Just head over to our Jewelry Maker website and click on the workshop link. We have a wide range of workshops from beginner to intermediate covering a variety of mediums. Once you've found a workshop you would like to attend, simply click on the book now button. Fill in the required fields and then press continue. This will take you through to the payment page. If you have any questions, you can contact our workshop coordinator at any time by emailing workshop at jewelrymaker.com. We look forward to seeing you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. If for any reason you're not satisfied with your purchase, you have the benefit of our 30-day money-back guarantee. Sad face. 
Um, hopefully I'll be back with you soon though, because it's been awesome tonight. I've had so much fun. Um, joined by the fabulous Kate D D D D. Um, and right now uh, we've got the kit coming up and the demo coming up, but right now it's deal of the daytime. Um, we've only got 21. You've got 21 <laughs> chances to go. And him 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 and him. You got 21 chances to go. Uh, okay, let's do this. Um, Wow. So, <laughs> these are stunning. I love the, the variation in the colors that you've got. Um, I love that you've got this real kind of cerulean blue um, and then going into this more kind of um, uh, a, 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 like a quaceous color that you've got here into these beautiful kind of sea foam greens. I mean, that is, this strand I think is absolutely gorgeous. I love the organic feel to this. I think this would be lovely with kind of like antique bronzes and really kind of embracing that um, native um, American feel as well when I was in I spent a month in traveling around New Mexico and lots of Native American jewelry it was incredible and that's what this really reminds me of uh, beautiful where's this turquoise from ah it is American there we go there we go fabulous so every single one of them has got that beautiful matrix throughout. I love the organic feel. Um, I, I, I just, I'm going to throw it over to Katie because there's so much that you could do with these. Yeah, I mean, you could use them individually. Personally, I, I love what, what's been done on the, on the bus there. It looks amazing. Should we have a nosy? Absolutely stunning. Isn't that gorgeous? I'm going to get out of the way so it's, so it's just this bust. Yeah, the only difference I would make to that, I'd pop some rubies in between. Some rubies. And rubies. <gasps> That's incredible. I, I, I absolutely love what's been done with this necklace. Yeah. Oh, it's absolutely stunning. Isn't it? And, and you know what? You, over a, just over a chunky jumper as well. Yeah. You could wear that over like a, a brown chunky jumper or, yeah. you know. You could wear that any time, really. Could, couldn't it's you? It's such a statement piece. Absolutely. Beautiful. I think that is absolutely stunning. Uh, it's today's deal of the day. There's 16 chances left. We haven't bought you any turquoise tonight. Um, wow. I, I just, I love the, just the patterns. I love the matrix within it. You know, everybody's like Sleeping Beauty turquoise, Sleeping Beauty turquoise, and it's beautiful, but I love this organic, natural, earthy, real. Mm, I love to see mm. the matrix. I think it's beautiful. It is. It, is. it makes turquoise for me, does the matrix. Absolutely. I agree with you. I absolutely agree with you. That is really, really stunning. Really stunning. Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, 49 pounds and 95 pence. That is uh, amazing, amazing. I, I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. Um, yeah, uh, 22 by 14, uh, sorry, 16 by 9 to 22 by 14 uh, on the strand. Uh, but you could use them quite sparingly as well. I mean, you could yeah. just have one as a centerpiece. I think they'd be lovely as earrings be, because they're flat. Um, you don't have as much yeah, weight. I mean, you could even wrap them as a small cabochon or you could use one as a ring if you've got an anchor point as well yeah that'd be lovely i'd like that as a ring i'm just having a having a look i'm going to put one on one my in the center of a cuff bracelet a wire work cuff bracelet that would be nice and they, they're quite unisex as well i'm looking at these that you could maybe do like some kind of uh, cuff link or yeah, something with these as well look at that that's gorgeous I, I love this gemstone. I like this. Like I love it with kind of antique bronzes. I love yeah. it with uh, smoky quartzes. I love it. Um, when I was um, in, I can't remember. Was I in? I think it's in Taos in New Mexico, and um, there's, they had uh, partnered it up with um, ammonites and made oh, this wow. like chunky bracelet with little ammonites and turquoise and it was incredible really really lovely love it love it yeah try us out today <laughs> 49.99 perfect oh is it, is it kit time it's time <laughs> so down with the kids it's kid time is is it a lit kit awesome 
Um, I'm going to head on over, but I can't, can I carry my chair if I do? I can carry my chair. I'm going to lift it up really high. Yeah, you probably don't, don't want to see me carry my chair. There we go. Well, I've got to get it over everything here, haven't I? Oh, my, my arms are feeling better. I, was, I started a class last Tuesday with one of these and my arm strength to weight ratio is completely off and um, <laughs> I was swinging around my pole um, <laughs> yeah I did a, I started a pole fitness class and honestly my uh, like I said my my weight to arm strength ratio is all off completely off and my arms were hurting literally until yesterday um, it was horrendous so I'll be back on Tuesday and uh, hopefully I can lift myself up a bit, <laughs> a bit more so anyway um, enough of pole dancing talk let's uh, let's talk about the kit this is the great Gatsby kit it is more than great it is incredible we've had some amazing feedback um, from some of the designs particularly uh, the one headpiece um, on on Facebook it's incredible look at that <gasps> I want to I want to wear them they're amazing honestly this is you've just like excelled yourself Katie it's amazing okay, I, just, I just had one so, there it is. That's my favourite. I love it. I love that little, just that wonderful cascade of pearls you've got dropping down, all of the wire work. You've got almost like leaves coming over the, the top of the head. Ah, oh, it's incredible. So, we have got, oh, look at this though. Look at this. So, you've got within the kit, you have got, I'm just going to bring this bit forward, I'm blind as a bat. Um, so you've got the Swarovski, um, I thought that's a cheese board, um, but it does. <laughs> Did you read cheese board yeah. as well? We're a bit hungry. Uh, chess board. So you've got your um, Swarovski. <laughs> We've got your Swarovski uh, chessboard. Uh, oh, look at that. Oh, hello. I know, right? With the drill holes as well, so you can sew it. This is your sew on stone. Uh, you've got a uh, two pack of those. I'm not going to wrap two pack. Um, that's incredible. Uh, and then, and then, uh, you've got the Swarovski uh, three pack of the sew on drops. So you're getting three of these. <gasps> And then, uh, and then you've got your beautiful strand of um, freshwater cultured pearls, approximately seven by five. They are stunning, beautiful. And you've also got, wait, wait for it, dum dum dum, the the must own that everybody wants to own, which is of course the half drilled. Amazing. Everybody's excited about the half drilled. So you are getting a pack of 10 of the half drilled um, beautiful uh, drops, eight by seven. They're sizable as well with these cultured pearls. Yeah, are they? They're pretty huge, really. They are, and they've got that wonderful, beautiful luster on the surface. They are, look at, look at, just look at that. Look at those earrings. Look how incredible. Uh, you know, everybody, we don't see a lot of the half drill, do we? No, no, not a lot. And not in a pack of ten as well. Actually. Ten! Pack. Five pairs of earrings there, peeps. Five pairs of earrings. So, um, you're getting the ten quality. I don't see any pits or, I mean, they're just... They're amazing. They're, they're amazing. pristine, aren't they? Uh, in the pearls. So, you're getting ten of those. So you've got five pairs of earrings there, or of course you could, you know, use that as a pendant, whatever you wanted to do. Um, I'm going to put those down before I drop them. Um, you've got the strands of pearls. Uh, you've got the the two Swarovski checker uh, chessboard uh, sew-ons, and you've also got the three sew-on drop. Uh, uh, with the Swarovski as well. So that is the kit. And it's 29.95. Do you know what? One of these, in a pendant, half drilled, bail on it, on a silver chain, yeah. 40, 50 quid in a jewellery store, every day of the week. Crazy. Maybe more. 
you paid more. Yeah, yeah, I've seen it for more. Incredible. Um, and I love that the, a lot of the Swarovskis we see don't have the ability to sew on, right? Yeah, yeah, so these go, I mean, I've used them with wire work, but you can use them with your shibori, with your seed bead embroidery. That You know, they, they go in a lot of different directions. Fantastic. Uh, London's there, Bristol's there. Uh, hello, Philippa. Hello, Sandra in West Yorkshire. Debbie, Paula, Carolyn. Loads of you. We've got somebody in in Holland. That's awesome. Cool. Um, We've got the second part as well of the kit, which is just uh, arriving on set now. Look at that. Um, and this is awesome. So this is the headbands and the, and the wire. So you have got not one, not two, but five tiara bands. Just thought I'd demo those for you. And those um, are the comfiest. They're really comfy, yeah. aren't they? I'm just going to do that again. because I... I've bought tiara bands from all sorts of places but they're never as comfortable as JM. See, you can wear that all day, I promise you you could wear that. So it's almost day. like it's not, it doesn't feel like it's, yeah. like even, I mean it's secure but it doesn't feel like, you know my nightmares of a kid at primary school is that thing with all the yeah. <laughs> the comb pins in, it was like yeah. ah, it's like some yeah, kind of torture device. Behind your ears, but I, I made quite a heavy cinema fascinator and used one of these last year and it, I wore it the entire day. <gasps> Fabulous. Uh, so you're getting five of those. Wedding season's coming up as well. Hello. Uh, this is awesome. Uh, you're also getting um, yeah, three spools of your wire. Oh, that's weighty. Um, so you have got your, um, you've got 10 metres of your 1.2. So that's more for the structure, right? Yes. Yes. Perfect. Um, I'm learning. Uh, and then and then you've also got 10 metres of your 0.6. And then you've got 100 metres of your beautiful um, 0.25 as well. And that the, the 0.25 and the 1.25 are uh, pearl colour copper wire. And the 10 metres is the silver uh, plated copper wire. Yes. Perfect. Fourteen pounds and ninety-five. You get five of these. Five of those. That's Amazing. crazy. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. Three pound each. Amazing. Without Amazing. the wire. The wire for me, the pearl wire is my all-time favourite wire. Why? It's it's just beautiful to use. It. I mean, it it's got this silky feel to it. It's even the one point two five. It's really malleable. And the weaving that I did for, for the, the piece that, that has been on Facebook and the, the top piece here, mm -hmm. I did start doing that, that a lot smaller, but it was such a joy to, to do the weaving. It was like weaving with silk. It was so beautiful to work with, and I just, I just kept adding more and more and more, more sort of feathers of, of that. And it built up, and I, I could have gone on and on and on. It's amazing, just beautiful. I love what you and it's so with with like you say with the um, with the pearl. It's just got that wonderful like subtlety, yeah. softness. Right, demo time. What are you making demo for us? Um, we're gonna just. It's quite a quick demo. It's the it's this one here. It's the one that's kind of it's like a knot, but. When I did a bit of research in, into sort of that era and, and the theme for that era, everything was flowers, uh, not flowers, sorry, feathers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but obviously I didn't have any feathers in the kit, so I kind of had to work out ways to make my own. And I did the big weaved piece, and then I thought, well, let's try and make it a bit more sort of easier to do for somebody that didn't want to do all the weaving, but still u in using the 0.25 as well. Fantastic. So, so I've got 11 pieces of my 1.25. Right. Okay, and these are about macrame board length-ish each. Okay, so we're going to cut, cut quite a lot of them down, but don't discard any of the pieces that you cut off because you can use them to make the earrings or, you know, add them into pieces. So, so don't, don't dis never discard any wire. Everything can be used. Fantastic. Okay. Good so, tip. So try and get them as smooth as you, as you can. They'd come off the, the reel really smooth anyway, but and, uh, all at the same level. And it's, this is like such a cheat. It, we're just going to tie a knot. So we're going to pull them all together and twist them. Okay. And we're going to leave it quite open and bend these around. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it's going to come through. Okay. This is 1.25. So, you know, you are going to have to give it a bit of a pull, but you will get there in the end. And... Work it round until you get a little bit 
closer in and my hands are freezing cold as well so it's not warming up like it usually does but yeah just keep pulling and working everything in until you can get it to come together so pull around that way and don't worry about if you're kinking any of your wires or anything it will be fine you can smooth them out just keep working it and bringing it close together each time okay don't worry about this bit because you're going to fill that bit afterwards okay then you need to splay them out so just working them splaying them out until you get them as tight as you can you can sort of keep pulling it and it'll bring your knots in tighter so just smoothing each one out until you get them all together you can pull it in a little bit tighter if you can that's better and you probably end up like I have with one side longer than the other okay but that is what I did on the main thing, so it's quite handy that it's done that again. <laughs> okay. So just, and you want them to sit as naturally as they want to sit. Let the wires dictate to you so you can kind of see which way they want to go. You don't want them to be crossing over too much and kind of get them in the right order. This is probably the longest part of the whole demo is getting them in the right order. <laughs> Because once you've cut them, you want them to naturally try and st stay where where they are. Yeah. Okay. So. And when you're not in a freezing cold studio as well, I imagine yeah, it's yeah, such I cold know. hands. <laughs> the freezing. Yeah. <gasps> okay. So they're all splaying out really nicely now. Okay. So you're gonna find your central wire that is going to be your longest one okay okay so so you can see the shape taking place now so that's going to be your longest one you're going to have one, two three four five six is going to be in the middle one two three there we go so i seem to have lost the ability to count for a second <laughs> story my life <laughs> fun ah, ah, okay ah. so this central one is going to be your longest one so choose your length for that so I'm going to keep that quite long and then you're just going to work in about a centimeter or so ah. okay so. and keep all your offcuts right yep, keep all those offcuts because you can use them to make sort of your little uh, connectors and things like that so down a bit further and I always do sort of them the, at kind of the same time don't just kind of work down that side, and then you might find you've got a short one at the other side. So, like so. Like that. And it looks a lot prettier once you've started to put it down. Okay. I love it. It's very featherish <laughs> already, isn't it? It is. So, I'm just going to move all these pieces out of the way. Okay, and then what I did was I got my hammer and block mm -hmm. and just to finish off the ends so they look a little bit nicer, uh, is that on there? Is just hammer just the ends so it's, it's kind of like paddling it, it's, it's called. Okay. <laughs> okay, so just a bit like we did, it, did, be, did before, we're just tapping the ends and brushing it away. Okay. So flatten out the ends. Kind of, I don't know whether you can see that there, kind of round off a little bit. Nice. Can you see that? Yeah, 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 I can see that. Yeah. So you'd go through all of your ends. Like so. Go down one side. It just gives a nicer finished effect to your finished piece. Okay, so you, hopefully you'll be able to see the difference to one side. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but these are, are sort of nice and flat and you mm -hmm. get a different sheen off that side. Yeah, then I'll do a, a yeah. close up on two. Yeah. yeah. That way. So you can see this is the side that, that I've you hammered. Can see, so you can yeah. see 
Yeah, and you can go obviously a little bit longer than what I did and you get more of a rounded effect on the end. And also what I would do is once you finish that, I would get a file, one of the needle files that we sell, or even just an emery board will do it. And just make sure you've smoothed out those, those ends so there's nothing sharp. Perfect. Okay. So then all we're going to do, obviously you would do the other end as well. Oh, yeah. yeah. Don't leave it like that, that's not nice. Okay, so then we're going to get the 0.25. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to find, just come through and give yourself a kind of little anchor stitch to just find somewhere where you can get your wire through. You'll find there's lots of little gaps in here. And just give a couple of wraps just on one of the prongs just to get it set in. And then bring your wire up through another one of those gaps on the front. This is what I mean about this wire, it's so soft, you can mm. hardly feel in your hands, it's beautiful to work with. If you've got any dexterity problems, this is the wire to work with. Absolutely. Awesome. Okay, so your wire's on the front there. Now the way that these, uh, these pearls are drilled, they're pearl drilled through the centre and it's kind of like a flat bottom. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yep. So they're going to sit really nicely on your wire work. So what you need to do is come up through. So you're coming through up through the flat bottom. Up through, okay. come up, up through, through the flat, through the flat bottom. bottom. Yeah, so that you know you're going to sit nicely. So don't get tangled. Right, drop down. Now you've got to go to one side and what you'll find is it tries to sit on its side because you're coming through through one side ah. there. So what you need to do is come down through Find yourself a little gap to come through. There. And if, you, if I pull that now, it kind of wants to come across and sit on its side there. Okay. So what you need to do is come back up through somewhere else. Don't worry about the underside of it because you're not going to see any of that once it's on the, coat, on the hairband. And then come back down through your pearl. So you're going through your pearl twice. So you're anchoring it at the other side too. Back Perfect. down through your pearl and through the other side. So then it will sit flat against your my work. Love it. Okay. So and then you would, you would just go and fill that gap. I've popped one of the sew on crystals in there as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then to attach it to your headband. Right. Okay. So you'll have this all all filled in and all, all lovely. And then what I started to do was wrap the headband. So just starting about sort of, say leaving a few inches, so because you don't want it to go behind, behind your ears. So just give this a wrap. So this is the, is it not point? That's the not point, um, uh, let's, let's have a look. That is the not point six, right? Yeah, not point six. I'm so getting good so at this. Give this a few wraps. So just coming down nicely and you should find that it, your pearls will go straight onto it. Oh wow. Yeah, so they've got really substantial drill holes and then wrap on. So you want to encourage your pearls to sit nicely and flat and then wrap around. So holding your pearls flat as you can and then wrap around a couple of times, maybe three times and then add your next pearl so that you're working up the design sort of under, underneath this design and then you're going to continue it at the other side. So I'll just add one more pearl there. That's fine. So we want that to sit the opposite way. So just pull it away from a little bit and then around so you can try and encourage it to sit nicely against the, the band. Around a couple of times. And then all you're going to do is when you come to add this, is just link it in from behind. So using some of the, the prongs that are there or straight through the wire. So just literally anchoring it in. So through there. So it's up to you whether you add your pearls before or after. Add your um, pearls in the middle of this little section here. And then through, back through your design, making sure you don't get any kinks. and then start wrapping again, just a couple of wraps, and then give it another anchor through through your design and back through, and then continue wrapping the pearls 
all the way over and then what you'll do is just position them maybe bend them back a little bit like I did but it's a really simple quick easy design yay okay. that's fab Thank I you. love it and do you know what? I'm sitting here going oh you know there's a ascot and stuff coming up there's yeah. like market for fattenators and yes. things like that hmm maybe I'm gonna start making some headpieces too I love it thank you so much You're welcome. Katie everybody whoop, whoop, whoop. that's amazing and like all of the black spinel that we've had as well I'm thinking right now you could totally yeah, oh, incorporate yes. you loads could totally of that incorporate all that could. right um talking of uh, let me just uh, get this a little bit closer. Ah, talking of... Uh, oh, look at these. Right, so these are awesome. I'm just going to move the, the kit over by... I've never seen anything like this before on JM. Um, I've not seen that path. I've seen these before, though. How gorgeous. cool are these? These are brand new. That's why you haven't seen them before. Yeah. Brand new. Uh, this is your multicolored flower uh, shell. <laughs> Almost did a you then. Uh, shell flat coin. Um, they're beautiful. I love these. So I love the. Uh, that's it. They're so cool. It's almost like, it reminds me of like velour. I don't know why, but yeah. like. The colours and the patterns remind me. You know the paintings that you see on the side of boats or barges or something like that? Yeah. I, don't, well, I live on the canal. Yeah. yeah, I'm all about the boats. <laughs> all about the boats. They do, they are. They're like, it's like going to Ellesmere Port or something. Yes, absolutely. They're lovely. They're really nice. And I love that, just the, the shimmer and the iridescence that you get. You know, it's a really nice contrast, isn't it, against the black with the shell. They're gorgeous. £3.95. That's fantastic. Yeah, they'd be perfect. Just one in an earring. That's all you would need. Mm. Just one straight onto a head pin, wrapped loop. Love it. £3.95. Uh, Shirley's there. Hello to Roslyn. Hello to Dean. Hello to Wanda. Uh, hello, Carolyn. Loads of you there. Uh, yours today, £3.95. Add them to your order. They're fun, aren't they? They're really lovely. I really like those. I think they're, and they're just, they're not too, they just go with so many things. I mean, yes. you could, it'd be nice, you know, if you've got a little black dress and you just wanted to add a little pop of, you know, with your jewellery. It'd be beautiful. Hello, Jane and Pauline and Paula and Sue. Uh, make sure you are checking out though, peeps. Uh, £3.95, they are brand new today. Love them. They've got a very kind of vintage feel as well, haven't they? Yes. And it's, um, I don't know, my friend's in a vintage band and they do, um, they do like vintage teas and they sing like all vintage songs and stuff. I don't know, it just reminds me of something vintage as well. Maybe not. Maybe it's just me. Uh, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Uh, yeah. Wanda's there as well, lovely to see you. I mean, I, you know, just that as a ring would yeah. be lovely. great doesn't it doesn't it and it's quite flat it's flush as well so yeah. if you you know you don't like your rings too high beautiful love it right next up oh we've got some pliers oh so these are flat nose oh, I'm so so getting good at this with a comfort grip they're very ergonomic they very feel nice. nice they're lovely so with those, you're going to get really good angles on your wire. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you can, great for like your wire icing, Claire uses those, those a lot for wire icing, and she wants a really good angle. Those mixed with the chain nose, yeah, it's a really great addition to your kit. Perfect. And, oh, it's like a little mouth. Hello. Nom, 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 And they're only £4.95. You do. If you're new, you need your pliers. Absolutely. Absolutely. They're one of your essentials as well, yeah, definitely. Absolutely. Um, are they, uh, so you would also, what else would you use so these you for? Could, uh, Flattening just using things. One of these. So, Show us. Yeah. So what you can do is make really cool shapes using uniform shape because, because they're more or less the same length the whole way down. So we can bring these up each side like so. Like so, and then we can pop the pliers back in at this side and push them down, back in again, push them down. So, you know, oh, you're getting cool really ass. good angles. Okay, 
There you go. That's fabulous. Those earrings really that you used there, would you have used square for the yes. shapes? Yes. Of those? Yes. I used to have a pair of these and I lost them. I need to get some more. There you go. I, I won't say anything really if you don't. Right. Just stick them up your sleeve. Box number five. <gasps> Love gold sco scone. <laughs> We're so hungry. Uh, I love gold stone. I am. Oh, they're amazing. Look at these. These are brown gold stone. Why would you call something? I'm sorry. I'm calling. Brown. I'm calling you out, JM. Why would you call something brown? They're <laughs> mystic brown stone. Okay, I, I think these are like rust or um, I don't know. Yeah, it's like a fiery, fiery brown. copper. Cinder toffee. Sparkly. Cinder toffee. Yeah. See, get yeah. <laughs> get Katie. Katie will, will come up with some good names. They should no, yeah, I don't, not brown. Brown. Nothing no. should ever be brown. It should be chocolate or caramel or yeah. something. Not brown. Anyway, they're caramel gorgeous. Forget the, forget the name, Mystic Brown. These are going to sell out. Very, very popular. They are amazing. They're gorgeous. Um, what would you use these for? Uh, I've used the uh, the blue version of these in a ring, which was absolutely gorgeous. Uh, you can use them in pendants. You can wire wrap them. You can add them to your shibori. Because they've got that flat back, you can stick them straight on, onto your backing fabric. Fantastic. Mm. I think they'd be nice on shoes. Yes. Okay. Uh, we were talking about mukai earlier. Here we go. Oh, I love those. Aren't they gorgeous? They're cute, aren't they? I think it's the first time I think I've seen Mukai in a two mil. I've seen them in a two mil. They're amazing. I love so, them. It's the first time for us both. Um, they're beautiful. I love these. Um, and again, you've got those earthy, neutral tones. I love the mustards um, and those um, caramels and then those wonderful cherry colours and the oh, lovely and those kind of nudes. Gorgeous. They I'd are. Probably they? buy two strands and, and pyos them. Just looking at the thread that's through them, yeah, you could definitely get get your fire line, you know, a few times passing through those. So definitely be seed beading with those. There we go. Seed beading with the uh, mukai. Perfect. A lot of you say that you like to see genuine gemstones, but maybe you like the seed beading techniques. Then best of both worlds, isn't it? Uh, beautiful. Three pound ninety five. Add them to your order today. They're lovely. Multi buying on those. Strong work. Strong work, everybody. Right, uh, next up, let's do... <gasps> Did you just say chrome dioxide? Oh, oh <laughs> I don't know why I went American there. Did you just say chrome dioxide? Um, Gorgeous. Aren't they? There's a big carrot weight of 40 carats of chrome dioxide. Wowzers. Um, I love, 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 love this gemstone. It's amazing. The color is just textbook. It is absolutely perfect. Um, just incredible. I love chrome dioxide. I love the story behind chrome dioxide. I love the history behind chrome dioxide. I love the fact that in a place that is so barren and remote with very little greenery, it's almost like mother nature has compensated for there being such a lack of greenery yes. in its location. Yeah. There we go. Beautiful. That's stunning. Do you like that? Absolutely stunning. Mm, it is. Beautiful. Final 38 of these. Um, I don't. Do we know what's going on with the mine? I, I'm like a bit out of the loop it's at the cold. moment. It's what? It's cold. It's cold. It's really cold. <laughs> we know it's cold. You know, we know it's only mined for a few months of the year. Um, but last I heard, a couple of years ago, it was that the, they couldn't even get in contact with the mine owners, and um, there was like they didn't even know if it was still going to be open. Um, amazing. First time I ever saw this uh, gemstone was on a cruise ship. Um, and blah, 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 I don't remember which cruise ship it was, um, but. My friend Mario came on board and was doing a special trunk show on board and every single piece that he bought on board the ship, I mean they were set into gold, but every piece was four figures and I fell in love with the stone and I just wanted to own them all and I'd never really liked emeralds very much but just developed this like penchant for this gemstone and loved it and then... Um, and so I just assumed that that was the price and then I started working in shopping TV and I couldn't believe it, like how affordable it was. I mean, there's no other gemstone that has this colour green. No. Nowhere in the world. It's no. amazing. It is beautiful. 
That's mad as a box of frogs. It really is. $29.99. Uh, again, it's one of those strands that some of our uh, jewelry making jewelry makers are just collecting and just holding on to. Um, you know, very little, if anything, coming out of the mine. I'm not up to date. I'm not sure. But I'll, I'll do some research for the next time I come back. Um, but incredible. I mean, to own something that's from the Arctic Circle and to, to be at, and it's completely 100% natural. That's what I love about it. What would you do with these? I would probably be one of those people that just keep it. Yes, that's fine. <laughs> but if I had to use it, I would be using it very sparingly. It's, it's, it's stunning. That middle section I'd probably put into the necklace. Mm -hmm. And then the, the other ones I'd probably put between pearls or something like that. But Ooh, yeah. happy gorgeous. Love that idea. $29.95. Treat yourself. Right, next up, um, we have got... Um, oh, hello. <gasps> Look at this. Look at the clarity. Oh, my gosh. This is like droplets of sunshine. Droplets of sunshine, everybody. Envisage right now. Imagine what droplets of sunshine would look like. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Imagine. Open them to this. <gasps> Is that exactly what you had in mind? It's like sunshine's just captured inside, isn't it? It is. Beautiful. They are phenomenal. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. Look at the glow. Look at it is. It's liquid sunshine. That's exactly what we're looking at right now. Uh, amazing gemstone. I love citrine. Um, you know, it is um, color yellow. Scientifically proven to make you smile. There you go. When you go to the golden arches, the reason why they're yellow and red is because red makes you hungry and yellow makes you smile. There you go. True story. Um, and at 19.95, oh yeah, science behind colour is incredible. Um, it is, the science behind colour. The things that you do based upon the colours that you see is really interesting. Um, and these are gorgeous. They are absolutely gorgeous. Um, oh, um, it, it's incredible. Look at the luminosity within and the glow within. They're just beautiful. It reminds me, you know, when you were a kid and you put a buttercup yeah. underneath your chin and see if you like <laughs> butter and it reflected on your chin. That's what this reminds me of. They're amazing. For, tw for a £20 note, there's only six chances left. I'd be quick on these. Um, what would you do with these? I would want them as earrings just because I'd want all the light to shine around them and just really show them off. Beautiful. Beautiful. Gorgeous, love those. Good luck, good luck, good luck. Right, next up, I'm gonna put those there. Let's do, what is that? Ooh, um, sorry. Oh my gosh, look at this. Um, oh, love these shapes. How cool are they? Oh, cool. These are your faceted coins in your labradorite. Um, we said we hadn't seen any all night and now we've had uh, another beautiful, these are lovely, sorry. Um, they're gorgeous. I love this uh, with the coins. And you were talking earlier about setting things flat when they, you yes. know, it, yeah, it, it talked to me about that so they with would these. Set really nicely flat against uh, your wire work pieces. Like if you were to do a wire work cuff, you could kind of sew them in and they'd, they'd sit flat against, against that. I quite like them just as a, a really delicate ring with some wire work around it that would be really nice i like that it's quite popular now isn't it yeah. to have something like a very simple little ring you know some of the yeah. big designers are, are using and, and they're all different like this one's got quite a lot of uh, deep blues coming through whereas this one's i don't know how well you can see that from there there you go but then this one and purples yeah and then this one's got more of the uh, peacock uh, blues and the sil and the golds coming through they're all really different. Look at that one. That one's really beautiful coppers. <gasps> Imagine how many rings you could make with this. Oh. Well, you could make a lot, couldn't yes. you? A lot of rings. Let's, let's count them. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. You could make about, there's about 25 on there, and I can't guarantee that because they're just a carrot weight, not size. Uh, but imagine if you could make 25 rings. And that's, that's crazy, isn't it? I mean, you'd probably charge about £15 each for a ring like that, wouldn't you? Just for the yeah, £15, yeah. £20, pounds, easy. I mean, for, uh, you know, for genuine gemstones, easy. £15, £20. Pounds. It's amazing. Yeah, there you go. It's your holiday. There's your holiday in a strand of Labradorite. 
Um, where are we going, sorry? Uh, okay. Ooh. Uh, tell us about these, Katie. This is your um, Quick Start POT. Tell yes. us about these, Katie. <laughs> Yeah, so oh, these this, are this your is what I was quick start for. POT Thanks. cards. These are for the size 8 seed beads. Okay. Okay. So what you would do is, I've not used them before myself. Oh, I've seen these being used. Yeah, fold them over mm -hmm. and they're completely reusable. And you would thread all your beads. So you, your thread would be, you'd come through here, through mm -hmm. this little hole here. And then you thread your beads on, then come through the next loop. So they're all spaced out. And then you'd add your beads. So add a bead through the through the bead, add a bead through the bead. So it's your start of your pyotis, but it's holding everything for you. Right. So a lot of people find that very first part of pyotis the most difficult mm -hmm. bits because it's it's hard to, to hold on to. So right. that's giving you something to hold on to. So then what you would do, you could make it, you don't have to make it the whole width, you make it to whichever whatever width you like. You make your whole bracelet, then you do a couple of extra rows. Mm -hmm. And then what you do is so that you don't waste your card so you can use it again, because it is paper. So all you need to do is do that extra couple of rows and then undo the first couple of rows and you've got your card ready to use for the next time. And you get three in the packet as well, so you, they're going to last a long time. Fantastic. And they are laminated, yes. uh, it says. Uh, durable three-layer laminate is a precision laser cut using each uh, QSP card over and over again. Because you'd think that you'd need to cut it. Yeah, uh, but yeah, you when don't. I first looked at it, I thought, well, that's good, but then you've only got three and then you've used them all, but that's not the case no. at all. All I you do is undo that first couple of rows and uh, you're away. Perfect. And, and you've even got destructions in there as well. Yeah, just having something to hold, though, at the beginning of that Pyote is just so, so helpful. Brilliant. Priceless. There we go. Well, it's not at 6 Um Brilliant. I can't remember who I was. It might have been Hannah. Mm -hmm. I was working with somebody that used this and they yeah. showed us how to use it. It was brilliant. There you go, six, uh, six ninety-five for three. Fabulous. Fabulous. I think even I might be able to do that. And it's with your Atos, right? Yes, yeah, that, those are for your Ato beads. Perfect. Wonderful. So, next up, let's do... Oh, oh I love these. Oh, this is like... We haven't really done any... No. Beads or findings or anything today I love these it's what oh, my these squeaky like chair short tubes <laughs> they are like short tubes love those. they're lovely aren't they um, so this is your 95 um, sterling silver gold plated drenched in 18 karat gold with your twist tubes they are mmm love those I love the movement that you get from these. They're so cool, right. aren't They're they? They're going to add a lot to your design. It's going to add a lot of the way the light reflects from it. I'd love to see these with the lapis that we had earlier. <gasps> yes. Amazing. Yes. It's gone away, though. Oh, my gosh. And, and you're getting 10. £2.95. Wow. Wow. That's I incredible. The, I love that they're the shorter ones because I, I've had the longer ones and I've had to cut them down because I want the shorter ones. So this is just a job done for you. That's brilliant and so reasonable. They're like 30p each. That's incredible for gold and silver. Imagine. And just by adding a precious metal that's cost you, you know, 30p, um, you know, you can, the perceived value again, yeah. you can demand such more of a price and you could pay that for, you know, base metal. Oh, easily. I mean, you could just, if you were making a pair of earrings and you added one to each earring, I'd at least put five pounds on. Oh yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Amazing. Every single person's multi-bought. Uh, hello, um, we've got Kent's bought three, Arizona's bought two, uh, Frederick's bought two, Jeanette's bought two, Middlesex has bought two, Sandra's bought two. Uh, oh, Kent's bought eight of these. Absolutely. Multi-buy. Strong work. Um, just well done, Janina. Uh, we've got Elaine there, well done, collecting Middlesex. Um, oh, we've got loads of you, loads of you coming through. It's a great deal, that, isn't it? 2 95 It's a bit naughty, isn't it? Giveaway deal. Giveaway deal for gold and silver. Elaine's bought two as well. Um, good luck. Right, next up, let's do... Ah, oh, I love these. I love these, Tiger's Eye. These are oh. awesome. They're like teeth. <laughs> they are. They're like... I don't know. Have a look. 
<laughs> You're all going to buy them now, I've said that. And I'm like, oh, yeah, they look like teeth. I'll buy them. <laughs> oh, these are really cool. I love the organic feel to these. I love that. Look at the chatoyancy on every those. single one. Here's the thing. We don't compromise at Jewelry Maker. Like, regardless of whether you're buying a, a, a big Tiger's Eye cabochon or, you know, down to the two mil beads, everything has got that quality. And, you know, what we look for with Tiger's Eye is that chatoyancy, is that colour. I mean, there's caramels and those wonderful rich chocolates and, and cognacs and mm, I love it. Again, I'd be doing the, the cascade tassel effect. Brilliant. Just works perfectly with this, with this cloth gemstone. It does, doesn't it? Gorgeous cascade cascade tassel effect. I'm liking that. I'm inspired by that as well now. Beautiful. And again, we've, we've bought you today some of the um, more of the like um, muted kind of natural colours. If you're somebody yes. that doesn't really want, you know, bright, bright, bright colour or you're making, you know, sometimes people uh, were telling me on JM that they make um, the same kind of design but with different colour palettes yes. to suit people's different needs. And we've had some, we've talked about that cascade kind of tasseled effect yeah. with a few other gemstones. Beautiful. You can do that with your tiger's eye as well. I think they're lovely. And they're £3.95. <laughs> that was like a knowing look to the camera then <laughs> they're amazing aren't they they are and if you get that time see right down to the very tiny ones as well absolutely beautiful 3.95 awesome sorts oh hello so this is a, a, a wire crochet tool for, I'm assuming, crocheting with wire. Yes, it is possible. I've not done it myself. I can't crochet. <laughs> but, yeah, it makes amazing things. We've got oh my lots gosh, of those. designers that do. Yeah, they're amazing. Yeah. It's like a little doily. It's one thing I, I really, really must learn. Oh, my gosh. Have a look at the back of this. Have a look at the back of this. How cool are they? Do you know, I would like that. It's almost like a dream catcher. Yeah, like you, you could sew, you, with using your wire, you could sew some gemstones into it. It'd be amazing. Oh, yes. Oh, I love it. Brilliant. So, and it gives you a little tester piece of wire so you can, so you can get going straight off the, so as soon as you get it. That's fab. There you go. So you can try it out. A tester piece of wire, and then you've got this little... Need I think that. Yeah. That is, and then you've got your crochet tool. This is fab. Um, I really like this, and I think that um, I would love to, to try and do that crocheting with wire. I think that would be super cool. Um, yeah, I'm just like, mm, I like that there. And that, or like, I keep getting kids and think, oh, that'd look amazing crocheting. I can't actually do it. So there you go. Yeah, I need to learn. Treat yourself. Yeah. Three pounds. Right. Oh, everything's gone. Right, let's do the amethyst. This is all I've got left, by the way. This is all I've got left. Is this the last, is this our last talk? I know. <laughs> okay. Um, the, I've been trying to play these all, I keep picking them up and they're like, no, it's not those. I keep picking them up. They've been on the tea bar since the beginning of the show. I, I adore them. And um, I absolutely want to uh, own this strand. And these are exceptional. We are talking about um, a quality of cutting that you've got here that is so dynamic and so prestigious and has just a really high-end, luxurious feel to it. Um, and I love the fact um, that you've got every single one of those bars reflecting the light and just giving the most amazing amount of sparkle coming through. They're absolutely gorgeous. I love them. I love them. I love them. And what I love about them as well is the way where they've been drilled. So yeah. you've got like diamonds. Yeah. So if you were to set them maybe in a ring or something, that drill, the drill hole can be hidden really easily with, with your wire or something. So it's not going to be intrusive. Uh, uh, you know, it's not, you're not going to see through. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's fantastic. Uh, I love them. So they're being corner drilled, 30 carats. The clarity is outstanding. And every single one, and, and as well, what you could do as well is because they're flat on the bottom. You could set them either way. That would look amazing. That would, wouldn't it? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Like we were talking about flat, the flat side of a gemstone. You could yeah. set them the other way and it's, 
They're like little pyramids, aren't they? Yeah, they are. They're like little pyramids. They're like studs as well. You know, and you see like a, a yeah. metal stud on some... Oh, I'm well into that. That would be so cool. Um, <laughs> awesome. Um, they're beautiful. And because they've been uh, corner drilled as well, I imagine you could make them into kind of some kind yeah, of like... You could you could join them together and then make them sort of into some sort of geometric style, you know, design. Yeah. Amazing. Well, like an abstract flower. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't even realise what I was envisioning then. I'm like, mm -hmm. um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, fabulous. Or could you like put them back to back, like flat, flat to flat, and yeah, that would. Be There's always a way of doing something. Yeah. Those. They're so cool. Fourteen ninety-five. I think these would be. You could make some beautiful sweets with these because the cutting it really speaks for itself. And I wouldn't want to put too much. I would want that cut to speak for itself. Yeah, I really, really would. So, um, thanks. Um, so, you know, and just some little sterling silver drop earrings with, a, you know, matching pendants. You know, again, going back to what you said about making multiples. Yeah, you know, and you've got the, it's the consistency that it's the, the same size all the way through the strand, don't you? Yeah. Very, very expensive look. Okay, fourteen ninety five. Right, next up, we bought to you the flat nose pliers and now... We've bought you the chain nose pliers with comfort grip. Um, so, why are they called? Oh, there's a bit of fluff. Why are they called chain nose pliers? Chain nose pliers. I don't know exactly why they're called chain. I presume it's something to do with chain mail. Uh, somebody can correct me on that. But these, I, l I tend to use my chain nose pliers more than any of my other pliers because they go down to a really fine tip, so you can get into all the little parts of your, right. your wire work that you need to. You've got different uh, sizes all, all the way down. So what I do is, um, I did a demonstration the other day where I use a, a permanent marker and mark a part, a part of, of it so I can keep using that save so I get the same size every Great time. Great idea. Yeah. Great idea. I love yeah. these. They're yeah. awesome. And I would always have two pairs because the, the second you need to open a jump ring, you need two pairs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, uh, so what I did yeah. there. So whenever I buy chain nose pliers, I always buy in twos. So you go, that's the expert. Um, good thinking, I love it. There you go, I don't know why I've got the box, but there you go, that's the box. Um, so yeah, I'd be I'd buy in twos, so you've got your, or, yeah. um, and what about this here? You know, you haven't, you've got. Yeah, so that, that sort of reopen, reopens your pliers, so it's got that spring to it. Yeah, yeah and so is that better than having, I, I can't remember who I was working with once, and they said sometimes if you've got a spring in there. Can yeah, I've, I've uh, my old pair had a spring in, it, they kept, it, the spring sometimes flies out, but they seem, seem to stay really good and true for a long time. And you know what, you know you said that you needed two of these, well you know the kit, the, the big starting kit that you yes. get, 4 95 you buy your first lot of cha chain nose pliers and then I can't reach it but it's, they've moved it, yeah. um, but you get your, your beginner's kit, your starter so you kit. So you've got two to start with. You've got with. two to start yeah. with plus um, yeah there's the flat nose in there as well so you've got your kit. Yeah. Brilliant. Uh, I love it. At £4.95 today, if you want to buy multiples of these, feel free to do so. Um, really ergonomic, very comfortable. Yeah, and just the fact that they go to a really fine tip, that's, that's the part that I would use most, especially within wire work, because you can use them almost as a, a round nose plier. Mm -hmm. you know, so you really like bending those, those wires in, especially if you're doing cabochons and things like that, you might need to hide wires, so you really need that fine tip just to grab just the very tip of a wire and just give it a little curve just so that it sits behind. Fantastic. Great tips today um, from Katie. Perfect. At £4.95. Right. Um, well, it has come to an end. It has been a pleasure, as always, to be here with you today. Um, we're back with you live in the morning from 8 a.m. Who's in in the morning? Someone. <laughs> Great. Um, perfect. So, um, when are you back with us? Uh, I'm back. Next Saturday late, I think. Next Saturday late, we like that. Um, and I don't know when I'm back. I, I'm not scheduled to be back at the moment, but hopefully I will. Um, it'd be lovely to see you. So we'll see you uh, next Saturday on the Late Show. We'll see you back at 8 a.m. tomorrow morning. And don't forget, um, you know, you can watch the replay back on YouTube uh, if you want to see any of the demos that we've uh, had for you this evening. Um, and also you can follow us on Facebook as well. Uh, my name is Emma Dyson. This is Katie. Uh, it's been an absolute pleasure. See you soon. Good night.
screen. And this gives you all the information that you will need to know, from the item code to the product description with all of the key information. Then the price comes on, and whether you join at the beginning or at the end of the offer, everyone pays the final on-screen price. So, when you see an item that you would like to buy, simply pick up the phone and dial our free phone number and you'll get through to our UK-based call centre. Alternatively, you can join us at www.jurymaker.com and start your jury making journey today. Jury Maker, the one-stop shop for all your jury making needs. The Jewelry Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewelry designer. Each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account, and the runner-up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewelrymaker.com, or you can post your photos to Jewelry Maker Studio, Ivy House, Henley Road, Studley, B80, 7DU, and make sure you don't forget your customer number. Get making and good luck. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join a community of over 65,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions, send photos of your designs and enter our Wall of Fame competition. Or if you need any help or advice, you can email our friendly help team. Make sure to get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. At Jewelry Maker, we are always looking at ways to provide you with a fantastic shopping experience. With this in mind, we'd like to welcome you to our new pre-order option. Selected items throughout the day will be put on display and made available for pre-order. When the presenter informs you that the pre-order service is available on an item, this is your chance to pop it into your online basket or speak to one of our brilliant call centre team members and be one of the first to secure your purchase.